This week on Clown College. And the old people, they struggle too during this ice. I bet you a lot of motherfuckers got hurt that were over 80. Oh, yeah. Slipped on their ass. I'm glad oh, yeah. you all right, Dom. Shit, yeah. man. Get <laughs> 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 the day. Oh, shit. Combination. I have a feeling that comedy duos are stronger than singles. Uh-huh. Um, it was just, I'm so surprised you guys didn't know each other. Uh-uh. I ain't, um, I ain't noticed, man. So my origin, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just, that's just so crazy. You're, I thought you're the you... first Indian person I've ever met. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Hold up. Never there seen one before. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> <Look, Dang>. JJ. <laughs> JJ walked up and said, do you have some curry? <laughs> This is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here too, Jamie 2.0. I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. Damn. <laughs> so many wires, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're going to get it cleaned up. We're we got real up. equipment, though. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just proof, dude. So I wanted to start off it's a little uh, on a sadder note. Something tragic happened yesterday. And I feel like it's just best to get it out and uh, maybe help somebody else out, you know, that's going through a hard time. So uh, it's hard for me to talk about, but the Packers lost yesterday in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And, you know, I'm putting on a brave face right now, but it hurts. It's it's a tragedy, dude. It hurts. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. I mean, y'all y'all beat America's team, and then you know you took the title. I mean, we <laughs> the United States really needed the Packers to win that fucking game, yeah. dude. Yeah, we needed. We're it. not owned by any owner, not any corporate greed by the fans. Hell yeah, Mister Field Goal, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I cried a little bit, but what 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 we're trying to do, and also I am sorry to all the fans who only tune in to see my perfect uh, beard, and I haven't been able to get to the uh, barber shop in like three weeks because of the ice and all that stuff. So I'm sorry to you guys. Yeah. I know it always looks perfect, yeah. but you know it, time goes into this. <laughs> yeah, you know the the ice storm it really messed up a lot of people's lives. Single mothers couldn't mm-hmm. leave their home to go get groceries for their. Hungry children, but Dom couldn't get to the Puerto Rican barbershop, yeah, dude. And equal, that shit just matters more. It's equally. I, I would say it matters equally. <laughs> That's very humble of you to say that. Fuck yeah. that lady. Yeah, so yeah, fuck yeah. those kids, I mean, man. the kids will be all right. You got rice in there. They're standardized yeah. test scores. There's no way they were good. <laughs> They're not contributing to society. And the old people, they struggle too during this ice. I bet you a lot of motherfuckers got hurt that were over 80. Oh, yeah. Slipped on their ass. I'm glad oh, yeah. you all right, Dom. Shit, man. <laughs> 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 Hit the uh, oh, shit. Combination. <laughs> Combination. Dude, he's fucking throwing <laughs> Tekken combos over there, man. He's I almost yeah. fell too anyway. Oh, man. bread of UA shit. Dude, it's time that we stop of the elder abuse on this podcast, <laughs> man. It's fucked up. <laughs> oh, shit. So it's been new. We haven't we have, haven't been able to go to a mic all week. We're st- dude, the ice storm Shows. is real. North Alabama, we're fucked, man. And you know why? Because these dumb motherfuckers don't know you put the goddamn rock salt down before the ice comes. Mm. Then then it doesn't freeze the fucking road. They so it's not even that bad. Dude. It wasn't even that bad. It's just it was ice. All the roads were iced. Yeah. There was no preventative measures yeah. Yeah. taken. Yeah, and it sucks. People ended up dying because of that. Mm-hmm. 20, 21 year old kid died last night. Really? Oh, wow. Damn. Yep. That sucks. All because Huntsville doesn't want to plan for, for winter emergencies, mm-hmm. man. It's global warming. It's Bullshit, coming. Dude. You guys don't want to let her, Greta, Greta, what's her name? Thunberg. There you go. You don't want to listen to her? Yeah, this is what this is what happens, Alabama. This is what happens. Okay, dude. When she gets more followers on TikTok, I'll fucking listen to her. Yeah. But if she wants to keep talking about at the UN conference that nobody gives a fuck about, who's listening to it? Okay, dude. More people know Taylor Swift was at the fucking Chiefs games than whoever the fuck just spoke at the last State of the Union. Oh, by, nobody gives a shit. By dude. probably a thousand times or yeah. more. And I don't blame them. That that information about Taylor Swift being there at the game is more culturally relevant and valuable information to know. One thousand percent in this day and age. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Who the fuck cares about whatever's on C SPAN? <laughs> have start, you ever tried to watch C SPAN? I mean, it's been on. It's the most driest <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck is going on. 
Like this is what the government is. That well, no no wonder we don't it's get just shit lame, done, man. Yeah, filibuster. Filibuster. What's that? <laughs> what filibuster? Explain to JJ. What? <laughs> That sound kind of isn't that, that just when somebody wrong. like rambles on about some shit to waste time? Yeah, yeah. In like a year, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, but dude, the history of Congress way more interesting than Congress today, bro. Congress used to beat the fuck out of each other, man. Really? The the caning of Lawrence Sumner or uh, Charles Sumner mm-hmm. beat the this dude beat this other dude with a cane Dang. because they were disagree. It was like right before the Civil War. You know, bleeding Kansas and all that shit. But um, yeah, he beat the fuck of, out of him with a cane. He was a dude from South Carolina. Beat up, I think it was Preston Brooks. He was a senator, whatever. From where? South Carolina. But where's where, who, who's the guy he beat up? Charles Sumner from I, up north somewhere. He's a fucking Yankee. Who cares? <laughs> uh, and then there was also uh, Lawrence Kite beat the fuck out of somebody. Another guy from South Carolina. Beat up this dude with this weird name that I can't remember at the moment. He had a weird fucking name. Mm. Yeah, you know, I, you looking at me like I'm gonna help you out. I don't, I don't know. know. I was just, I was trying about. to. Leave. He probably looked like you or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See if I can. He remember. definitely didn't look like me back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> right. Maybe shortly after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, imagine hundreds of years later, we still talking about that ass whooping. That's crazy, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, that was, like the, that was the original SummerSlam, dude. <laughs> For real? The Who caning was of Charles Sumner. <laughs> Sumner versus Brooks, man. Okay. I'm sure they were, everybody was starving. They're probably like featherweight division. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe they were the only fat ones because they actually made money. Yeah, yeah. It was we we got to see some like Confederate money in class. It's hilarious, dude. It looks like Monopoly money. It's it's just a little piece of paper with like ten cents written on it. Like this is worth ten cents. <laughs> like they had such a problem with fucking like they would call them plaster or like a uh, dry plaster banks or whatever because you would just take the money and it's so useless you just use it to fix holes in your wall and shit. It wasn't actually worth anything. They legitimately just wrote like this is worth ten cents. <laughs> And they tried to use the honor system. Just didn't work, man. Yeah, Dang. yeah. South will never rise again. <laughs> they didn't listen to Jackson, man. No. Should have sick with the bullion system. Yeah. If you don't back up money with gold or something else, it's not worth. It's anything. not worth shit. Dude. Hell no. It's not mm-hmm. worth anything. Man. See Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just True. learning over here, man. I'm just listening. Yeah. This is good shit. Yeah. How you been, Brandon? Man, I've been good, man. I realized shit that uh, when ice comes, you forget out across the road. It's fucked up. My what do you mean? Look, okay, so this sounds weird. Let me tell you what happened. So I was getting ready to cross the road. My sister goes. She's like, come on, Brandon. I'm like, no, there's a fucking car. I'm not. Because me, I'm, I got anxiety. And I'm nervous of falling on my ass in front of all these cars. Uh-huh. So I'm trying so hard to get over. And then I get in, like stuck in somebody's backyard because I flipped. And fell in the parking lot, and I was stuck trying to get up. And she was like, "Come on, nigga, you scared to roll?" I'm like, "No, I'm trying to get over, nigga. I can't walk." And I kept slipping and shit. And she fell on her ass, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, "Please don't let these people see me fall on my buttocks, man." <laughs> it's true. You didn't fall at all. Shit. Yeah, I oh, I fell a few times. You oh, did. The UAH, like the gym parking lot, mm-hmm. was all ice, and I just sat in the truck for a minute. And everybody that walked by ate shit. <laughs> like it was like a movie. Like everybody was fucking falling <laughs> Damn, and man. shit. And I was like, those idiots. Then I get out there, eat shit immediately. <laughs> stepping out of the truck, my foot slides. I'm, <laughs> I bent in ways I didn't know was Damn, possible. Dude, but we fucking made it, man. You made it, man. Hell I, got, yeah. I got stranded. I got stranded on Friday after I left your house. Uh-huh. I was I was trying to go this one way, but they closed the road because somebody slid off the road and knocked out a telephone pole, like slid on the ice. And uh, I was trying to go home a different way. And I went up this hill, and it was icy. And then I just started coming back, and I was like, well, and it's that, it's a steep ass hill. You know where it is. Yep. And it's a big curve. And if I was just to keep going backwards, I would just go over that curb and into that person's house. Damn. So I like cut the wheels, got the back wheel stuck on mm-hmm. the curb, and I was stuck there, like could not move. And then this dude that lived there came out and helped me, and we fucking, we got it out. How'd you we get it out? out? Hot water cardboard like putting it under the tires mm-hmm. shove i feel so Damn. bad dude destroyed this dude's shovel because it's hitting the ice and breaking through and hitting the asphalt fucked up his shovel dude so i'm gonna throw mm-hmm. like a home depot gift card in his mailbox hell like, yeah. thanks so shout out christian thank shout you out. christian <laughs> hell yeah brandon hell yeah you <laughs> know what's crazy about water. that story we talked about this earlier that's the same hill i almost crashed into a house also that. dude it's a crazy mm-hmm. hill because it year. goes down hella steep 
then a sharp left turn. You know? mm. Like super, super sharp. Scary, God, man. damn. Yeah, they gotta fix that. They got they got they don't have any railings up around it or nothing. <laughs> no, that's nothing. It's just no. hill. Damn. That's dude. why I was stuck. Cause I was right up on top. A guard. Shit. There's like a curb, just mm-hmm. a normal curb and faith. That's <laughs> it. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> and even when it's not icy, it's kind of dangerous because people still don't go the right way. They just go wherever they want to go, man. Okay. Just being on that curve, crazy. like as a child on my bike, I almost died millions of times. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes you stronger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Near death experiences makes you a better person. I it believe. makes or breaks you. Mm-hmm. Some people never recover, but I mean, yeah. it was going to happen at some point, you know. Sure. I've literally been close to death probably ten times, like extremely close. I feel like the closest to death you ever get in your life, unless you just have like a crazy near-death experience, you mm-hmm. probably don't even know about. Oh, for like yeah. you probably like almost fell off a fucking cliff or something, and you just didn't know. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that what that almost happened to me one time. I uh, I was drunk as my ex, right? We were going through some shit, <laughs> and uh, I had drunk a whole fifth of uh, Captain Morgan's. Okay, right? shout out Dan Price. She had her, uh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then, uh, so I got drunk, and then she brought, like, her best friend, which is this gay guy over. Just, it's, it doesn't make, I guess I shouldn't, it doesn't matter if he's gay, but he's gay. And, uh, well, it does matter. You thought it was No, important. no, it, it does matter at the end of the story. Mm-hmm. So then he comes over, and then, like, uh, and, like, she's just getting back from this training. So I haven't seen her, like, in three weeks. We're going through problems and shit, so I, I'm just sitting there drunk. I was like, fuck this, I'm leaving. It's supposed to be just us. You got your friend over here. So I try to leave. Now I'm fucked up. And I have a I have a solo cup full of Captain Morgan and Coke in my in my car, and a cop pulls me over. Oh shit! Because I'm fucked up. And he's like, "We're like, what are you doing?" I was like, "I just got back from deployment. I was coming to see my wife. Uh, we live in different places." He's like, "Just get home safe." So then I'm like, "I was going to drive all the way back. This is in uh, Columbus, Georgia. I was going to drive all the way back to uh, Clarksville, Tennessee." Damn. So then man. I was like, "I was like, fuck that. I'm just going to go back to the house and try to uh, reconcile this." I get uh I start to drop put it in my GPS. This is when GPS wasn't like what it is now. And it had me on this back road, like and I and I literally drove and then I had a Camaro. Shout out. And then it got stuck. It got stuck. Like I, w- I was like trying to drive and it got stuck. I'm like, what the fuck? So I get out and I'm so drunk, I'm trying to push it. I don't realize I look down, it's a 30 foot drop. At Damn. least. At least a 30 foot drop. So then I'm like, oh fuck. So I go to the the door, uh, of the house that's right there and I knock on the door and nobody I see I, I can hear them in there but they don't come so I'm like fuck so I call a tow truck I'm just like hey my, my shit's stuck can you come pull me out cop pulls up again now I have to reiterate how fucked up I am yeah. the cop doesn't even give a fuck tries to help me push my car out cause it was Hell like yeah. it was like it was like the road and then it dropped off like like a little bit like this with some rocks and then the, then the whole drop so if I would have been going Damn. faster I would have just went off this motherfucker Damn. so he helps me he was like you already called a tow truck I'm like yeah he was like well I can't do nothing else for you I'm leaving and then the tow truck came and I went back to the house and uh, her her best friend even though he's gay, he's still a guy, and he was sleeping on my side of the bed, so I threw my drink. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> threw my drink on the bed. Yeah, I haven't seen her since. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you threw your drink on her? I threw a oh drink on both gosh. of them. On both of them? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but you also said him being gay was important for the end of the story? Yeah. yeah, because it's not like she's sleeping with the guy. He's gay. But still, in my in my mind, I'm like, why the fuck is he on my side of the Dom, bed? You know that's a hate yeah. crime. <laughs> you just no, no. you just hate crime to gay man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Threw Captain Morgan on him. <laughs> he was cool. He was trying to calm me down. He was cool. <laughs> he, was, he was cool about it. Yeah, I was Respect. the one that was fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that was back in my early twenties. Mm. You know, hormones are raging. I, I mean, I haven't done that. Brandon, yeah. have you done anything uh, like you that? Guys have, you guys haven't got there yet, yeah, all right? No, I haven't got there yet. I don't know what will happen. <laughs> hopefully, we never get to wherever that is. Yeah, yeah, hopefully, know, never. You don't know when a bad Latina hey. fucks with your brain, all right? Hey. <laughs> it, it, it can destroy you. Hey, <laughs> fuck, at least it wasn't a bad enough. Like, nigga, what you, bam, hit him with the bad. Oh, no, no, no. I, would, I, would, I wouldn't get violent, but I was going to, it was ice in there. <laughs> <laughs> Not crushed either. It was hard. Oh, no, it solid. Was, yeah, it was solid ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What? Uh, well, okay. So how long? Like, I want to know. Like, how long was it? How long were you gone from the house before you came back? Oh, hours. I, <laughs> I do. I'm telling. I, I didn't you know where I was. In? I didn't know because, like, I had to pay for. Like, we were both in the army. I was. We we um 
some of my family doesn't know, but we got married. <laughs> my family still does. But well, we we got married to stay together, right? So I still had an apartment in Clarksville, and I'm paying half on an apartment in Columbus because we're supposed army's supposed to get you together, but army's like, no, you'll be all right. You're still deploying. I was like, God damn. Uh, <laughs> so I had uh, there's a war. Yeah, yeah. So so she had to move over there. So it was hard because I'm going. Like, I'm just driving to Columbus every weekend. And in the weekend, you don't really want to. You're like, I'm going to hang out with the boys a little bit. And then it's a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I was a piece of shit. Mm. She was too, though. It's, it's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, I, I completely understand, dude. Mm -hmm. happens. Army got you on, in yeah. separate places, but equal conditions. And I've always been a fan of separate but equal, dude. <laughs> yeah. You know me. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> There you go. Why did he there say, you go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dad, Brandon really is Uncle Ruckus, dude. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What was I agreeing to right there? <laughs> Separate Hold on. Equal. Wait a minute, man. See, uh, there was a landmark okay. uh, court case, Supreme Court case, uh, Plessy versus Ferguson, where they said that they could put black people and white people in different schools as long as they were equal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Equally funded, which just wasn't true at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, they did not fund those fucking, those other schools, man. It was, it was fucked up, and you agreed with it. Dude. Oh, so this is segregation. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute now. I got to get to the camera for this one. Yo, I don't fuck segregation, y'all. We got to all be equal. I like everybody. We like, are equal, but yeah. just separate. Not, well, we don't have to separate, y'all. I see I see what's going on. I see that little <laughs> trick. Nobody has to separate. We all equal. Yeah, but we're, we're saying, we're, he's saying that everybody is equal. Oh. But you just have to live in separate places. Oh, well, nobody should have and to live in separate places. And not go to the same places. school no. or go to the banks at the or same similar time. Similar cultures, yeah. ways of life. You can sit, go wherever you want to go. Sit in the back of the bus. No. You don't <laughs> have to sit in the back of the bus. Sit in Different the water fountains. Yeah. Uh, what would the modern day equivalent of that be? Like a water fountain? Because people don't really fuck yeah. with water fountains you anymore shouldn't. after COVID. Yeah, you right. shouldn't. If even, we were going to segregate COVID. today's society, what, what, mm. what measures would we have to mm. take? We'll definitely still be school. Yeah. Right, and probably, well, probably well, it's uh, online. movie theaters for sure. Your yeah. whites hate, you know, because black people do be talking. <laughs> and, but uh, movie theaters still be segregated. Um, How are you going to segregate online school though? Uh, they'll have the better teacher for the whites, like they. Used to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We get the one like I like yeah. my my coach White, big game. He's out there. What y'all want? What y'all doing in there? Y'all <laughs> teachers just chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> You get one subscription, but everybody has to share it. Hey, Chad GPT better than some of these teachers. Oh, I'm hell explaining yeah. that shit. At Man. Than most teachers, I would say. Yeah. You but get that's the problem with the education system, dude. We're yeah. getting real True. deep on and, this And teachers out there, if if you're in college and they're not majoring in whatever the fuck you're teaching, lay off. Thank you. Because what the fuck does a business major need to know about topsoil that much? <sighs> You know what I mean? Well, you got. I'm sorry. Come dude, on. You preaching to hey, the fucking choir walk with right me. there. I walk with me. Ew, I walk with you now. Come man. on now. Hell yeah. It's important, dude. Fuck yeah. Topsoil. Shit's important, bro. Give yeah, a fuck. How do how how do you know what topsoil is gonna mesh with the natural Alabama red clay that we have here? Yeah, the how clay's a problem. How else are you gonna grow your own vegetables? The clay's dude? a problem. I shouldn't know this, but I do. Yeah. And if I needed problem, to know it, man. oh, I'll just Google what kind of soil I need to grow this vegetable or whatever. See, fuck. dude, you got to learn how to be self-sufficient if you want to go off the grid, if you want to stop paying taxes and shit. Dude, I'm telling you, I don't agree. I would never want to go like, completely <laughs> off the grid. Like, people go, live. fuck you, living in the woods and shit. Nah. Yeah, everything's off the grid until you got to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's just something simple like a tooth. You know what I'm saying? And you just die from not getting a root canal. Yep. Get, get infected, infected or yeah. something. Get some diarrhea or some shit. Die like they did in the old days. Mm -hmm. Dysentery. Mm -hmm. Dysentery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. Your fucking you. crops I have diarrhea die. all the time, huh? Me too. Your crops die because of an unexpected winter storm like we're experiencing, dude. Yeah. Your ass is going to Walmart. Mm -hmm. But you don't have any money. Because <laughs> you're, you're off the stealing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get aid from a fucking water fountain that's been in the woods for like 10 years. I've never seen a water fountain <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> and I don't think don't aid think spreads that's... in that way. <laughs> But I get the idea. Well, I mean, I well, you can't get AIDS. Oh, no. hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Now. Well, hold on, hold on. Just How break do you it think down. You, get so, AIDS? So you don't get AIDS from a water fountain. No, let me tell you what. So let's say there was a dude with AIDS and he just got bit by a bear or something. He's like, oh, shit, I need some water. He's drinking it. And then, like, nobody knows that he drunk out of it. And a little dash of that, something got on there. And then somebody else be like, I'm thirsty. Now they got AIDS. I mean, I mean, it, it wouldn't last that long. Okay. Oh, but well. <laughs> then, uh, it, this know. isn't the problem we need to address right now. <laughs> he, he said, 
a, a man in the wilderness with AIDS gets bitten by a bear yes. and finds a water fountain in the middle of the woods <laughs> after being mauled by a bear. The, he said, I want to drink of water. And a little dash of that something yeah. gets on the, the spigot of the water fountain and that then he gets touch. AIDS. There, there's multiple problems with that. Yeah. I mean, we can break that whole thing down layer by layer, point out all the falsehoods and inaccuracies. <laughs> But you want to focus on it doesn't live that long. <laughs> AIDS doesn't live that long. I I don't In the know. Open man. air though. True. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think that's the issue. Yeah, dude. no, there would be no water found in the woods. Yeah, it's just all around uh, crazy. You thing got to a, say. like an LK two fifty five out there, man. What the fuck is that? Y'all don't know your models of fucking water found like LK. Hold on, did E-L-K-I? you just spit out a model of a water found? Brandon looked at it. Hold up, dude. up now. Look up. Look models. up at LK M two fifty five. There you go. <laughs> See, this isn't the, this probably isn't the model that y'all had, but this is what we had. Go to the Discord one. Okay. All right, you said it's called an MK. LK. LK. E L. You said E L. E L. Hold up. K A Y. K A Y. Space. Space. M two fifty five. M two fifty five. Here we go, dude. How the fuck do you know that? I'm telling you, this is the white water found. Oh, well. I don't know what y'all probably had the C-255. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. What the fuck? That's a sink, Brandon. Yeah, well, that's a sink. And also, who would, pay, who would pay $900 for just that? You could make that, man. Just the right back, Brandon? Yep. Yeah. Good. <laughs> go back again. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> okay, here it is. Here it is. Yes, that one, dude. It's my favorite. Yeah, that's the one that was near the place I had to clean up. It's my fucking favorite. Well, hold on, the, the the shit you had to clean up. Yep, this is the exact one. That's literally there. Hell yeah, one. man. Hold on, these shit in there? No, no, I was saying it was right there. They had one like right next to it. That I remember like it was yesterday. That is the old, make sure you say the picture. Oh. That is the OG uh, uh, waterfowl. Hey, can you bookmark that, Brandon? That's a decent price, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Five fifty-eight. Yeah. Is this downloads right here? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Sorry, guys, we're having trouble. We're having technical <laughs> yeah. difficulty. I, I didn't even fucking say that word. Drink. Oh, we're having a drinking game every time I mispronounce a word, every time Brandon gets molested, and then every time uh, <laughs> Jay- I bring up race. Yeah, yeah. You'll be dead by the end of this podcast. <laughs> huh? That right there? E- no, go to the green one first. Green. To the right, yeah. <laughs> Exit full screen. And Jake, every time he just mentions Hell. women out of the blue, <laughs> something about women. Dude. <laughs> Dude, Jake, Jake would not let it go. We were just sitting here. We were talking. I mean, I was editing a podcast, right? And uh, we'll be sitting here talking about something that happened on the episode. It was his episode. And then he'll be just like, uh, I'm, like I'm like, yeah, ain't this crazy? He's like, yeah, 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 man. You can't talk to women out, outside anymore. <laughs> what? Everybody Dude. thinks you're weird. Yeah. You know, that's Everybody that's thinks how we've done weird. it for thousands talk. of years. And now just because the culture says you want to do it online and do Tinder and all that bullshit, now I can't talk to women in public because I'm weird? You guys are the weird ones. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll say this. This is exactly I love what he it. said. I love it, too. I'll say this. Uh-huh. Before I had my fiance, I used to be just like him. Like, I literally agreed. I was like, man, you can't say shit now. You can't go up and be like, hey, hold the door. None of that. You can't even be like, nice hair, a nice nice bod you can't do that shit anymore well you can't say nice bod you can't do that no you can't do that one Hell but you no. can say but you nice can hair. say the rest of them if you're my my thing is the grocery store oh shit you know and if you can tell like mm. if if they if they're if they're like just being polite and like oh thank you or if they're actually engaging in with you like you're at the chips like, but some oh, people can't what do you mean some people cannot differentiate oh she's just being nice like some people oh, yeah, can't some take people the hint can. yeah yeah like that that's a that's a real thing oh, yeah, yeah yeah i don't know maybe jake can't take the hint dude i don't know I've seen that. A lot. I think he could take the hit. He just wants to try to drive on and it's see. The thr- it. It's the thrill of the kill. Yeah. You're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Jake has also what's been. What's all a- this one in a million talk? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. dude. Every the probability does not make sense, right? The whole field of statistics can be completely nullified by the fact that everything has a fifty-fifty chance of happening because it either happens or it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Everything is fifty-fifty. No. That's what gamblers don't understand, dude. Mm. No, that's wrong. Everything's Everything not, is 50 50. Everything's dude. not 50 50. The, the odds of Brandon dying right now, 50 50. No, no, no I don't think Because he's either going to live now. or he's either going to die. I want to live. No, <laughs> it's a controlled environment. Well, I mean, him dying right like in the next, let's say in the next hour is 50 50. You're saying that. 
Yes. No. Or or any. Well, his chances of dying are a hundred percent because everybody's gonna die. Yeah. Everybody. One day. Everybody dies, man. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Okay, dies. Muhammad. My bad, dude. <laughs> okay. I get Re- seventy-two virgins, so I'm ready hey. to go. <laughs> you get them in I the like afterlife. That. They had to die too to get there. Yeah, man. yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I go, I'm I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Everything is a fifty-fifty chance, bro. Think about it. No, it's not. Because it either happens or it doesn't. There's only two so things. So there's a that are 50 50 happen. chance a missile comes through this window right here. 100%, dude. <laughs> no, it's like a yes, because it's either going to. So, what are the two options? It a either happens. A missile comes in or it doesn't. Or it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. One, of, one of two of those things is going to happen. So, it's a 50 50 chance <laughs> that one of those things is going to happen. The, the odds of it not happening is probably 99.999. Not probably, but mm-hmm. more but what, than What are that. you basing that on? How many fucking rockets went through windows in America yeah. and Southern Huntsville? I know one hit East Palestine, Ohio, and blew up that fucking train. Hmm. Uh, is that Huntsville? <laughs> it's, it's is that through a window? It might be, dude. It's a 50-50 chance. It might happen, dude. <laughs> Conspiracy. <laughs> I agree with it, though. I mean... Oh, my like, God. Hold on. Let me Brandon, tell you something. I don't know. Let me, let me tell you. I'm, I knew on. Brandon was going to have my back <laughs> on this. Hold up. Hold up. So what I'm oh. saying here is, is I feel like it is 50 feet, but situational. Like, like if you in a good area, the 50 turns to 75, and then... if you're So the bad areas have rockets going through windows. Well, let's say a different country that's more likely to it. Like, a place that's more likely. But if you're in a situation, like, let's say you're in Antarctica, probably, like, that 50 just turned to, like, 10 out of... <laughs> so you're agreeing with <laughs> me that it's not 50 I'm agreeing with Bob. I'm like, yes, it depends where you at. Hit with a missile in it's Antarctica. Like, it's, it's very, <laughs> very, very slim like that. You know, yeah. very slim. Uh huh. Do it again. How, how slow? Very okay. slim. That one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing in the back of the bus when I was a kid. Very slim. So you saying here? So you saying in in like East Palestine? The, huh? We just gonna pretend that he didn't say that. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Brandon, can you repeat? What oh you yeah, did? I was like back like when I was in the back of the bus saying very thin, but I I didn't know what I was talking about <laughs> what. I used to. So back in the day, I didn't know that measuring your your thing like I thought it was like this. People used to say, so they would do this. Oh I'd be like, you got a wide ass dick, man. This mine is like this. So that's what I used to do in the, like, before football games and shit. What? Yeah, man. Everybody would like be talking on the bus and that. I was just like, okay. Time out, time out, time out. We have to take it back a step. <laughs> Flag on the play. Yeah. <laughs> so you're talking about you're measuring your dick in the back of. It was a so I was in the football, but they talking. I was like, "What are y'all talking about? That's too damn wide, man. It's supposed to be like this, right? Like that. It's not supposed to be the width." Man, you, you do gotta, see what he's saying, though, right? Yeah, I thought I don't know why. When I was a kid, I thought they meant the dick was this big, like wide. Width. Okay. Okay. And then the length, I thought the length was like that. So I was like, "Yo," when I was younger. Like eight, nine, ten, maybe. I don't know what you're doing with your fingers. You don't get it, so you know. No, I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I, I, I just don't get the finger method. So, 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 what does this mean? This what, is what's the length. This? That's the penis. Uh, this is the penis. That's the penis. Yes. And this is the length. The, this is the width. He's, measuring, How? he's saying like, if the penis is like this, this is the length, and this is the girth. And uh-huh, this okay. is the penis. He penis got a measure. reverse. I thought it was swollen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought they were talking about swollen. But why this? He was using the wrong formula. I'd never seen it before. I this still is... don't get why you're doing this. Because that's how he's imagining <laughs> yeah, it in his like, mind. I like, I he's imagining it's... his penis and him going like this. <laughs> when I was younger, I was like, this is what it, this is. I was like, it'd be like that. So when I saw them do this, I thought they were like, this is the length. This is the oh, length. I get it. Oh, like, you everybody had a choke, You guys dude. were gay as hell. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why they were talking. I looked. I said, first of all, y'all, we ain't gonna sit here and act like it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be like, yeah, it was. You weird guys weren't pulling them out though. Hell no. Nah, okay, nah. you were just like measuring it out. Hell no. Nah, okay, that's okay. the gayest that experience was you've ever had, Brandon. But no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think he just came. Hold on, man. Let me sing. Let me sing. I guess the weirdest experience I saw. You talking about what? Like, okay? <laughs> what? You talking about that the I gayest saw experience or happened to you've me? Had. No, I'm talking about gayest. Or, I guess like, yeah, you've gayest. seen it. Okay. Well, I've I seen. guess you don't. Ha- I guess you could be a spectator. So I had a friend yeah. that was mad at his cousin, and uh, to pay him back, he said, "Fuck that nigga. I'm gonna put my dick hair in his milk." And uh, man, yeah. So he went up to that him. Ain't even gay. That's just nasty. It is. And then when he gave it to him, it's the a crime. other no, yeah, damn this, crime. This, this is where it gets gay. 
Because I thought that was a crime too. I was like, hell no. Nah. But this is where it gets gay. His other cousin was like, to pay him back, I'm going to do the same thing. So that he did the same thing. He cut his hair and put it in there too. Okay, yeah, that's not gay. That's, that's, how do that's, you not that's see disgusting it? kids. Huh? They were Milk fed. is white. Pube hairs are dark. Oh, yeah. How yeah. do you not see it? Did they see? drink it? I think they did, man. Oh, they God. just, because they were like, he was telling we me the fighting. story. Okay. We uh, hell fighting. yeah. I that's just a remembered that's something, when, yeah. This is along the same lines as that. I'm not going to drop any names, but I knew these dudes in high school where um, ju- like jeweling was the biggest thing when I was in high school. Like having okay, a okay. jewel yeah, yeah, yeah. before they banned all the flavored pods and Fucking shit. commies. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck them, dude. I thought this was, you know, free market, but the they took an empty jewel pot and this dude like jerked off and put his cum in the jewel pot and let his boy hit it. Oh no. So he like man. vaped his cum through a jewel. The amount of ass whoopings that had That's what I'm saying. Guy. Every dude, time I saw him, I, I would try to kill him. I with I my fist. how do you think of something that diabolical, bro? That's these people are sick. That's a, that's a serial killer kind that's of. That's some thing. like that Nazi concentration camp weird <sighs> experimental yeah. type shit. Vaping semen. Do you think a girl could get pregnant if she <laughs> va- if she vaped the <laughs> semen? No. They That'd be the most right? 2024 thing ever, dude. A vape baby. I'm I'm, I'm vape, sure baby. I'm I'm sure uh, some girls tried to uh, say that's what it was. I got it. <laughs> Oh, I vaped. It's okay, honey. Baby. Oh, you I vaped? vaped. That's why he's black. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> That's okay. She blows the guy, and then she hits the vape afterwards, and it, like, causes the causes it to, like, steam or whatever, and she inhales it through the lungs. The There's a 50-50 Steve. chance this is going to happen, because it either happens or it doesn't, dude. No, it's not a 50. It's a 0% chance that happens, because that's not how it works. You have a 50-50 chance of getting pregnant through a semen vape, dude. I guarantee you, I'll I'll do a fucking science project on this for next week. I'll have a fucking trifold right here. I need to see and it. a jewel full of cum. <laughs> oh my gosh! And we will get Kim. <laughs> yeah, Kim's gonna be on the next episode. Shout because, out! Hey. She's the perfect control group because you know she's not getting pregnant any other way. Kim would fuck you up. Yeah, she would be. If you even propose this, yeah. Yeah, I would. I would never. It's yeah. it's all it's all comical. You <laughs> yeah. Know? yeah, she's gonna be watching this like, oh, what, what, I just get what excited. What we doing over there tomorrow, next week? <laughs> I just get excited, you know. Okay, yeah. Yeah. progressive science really. I get gets me yeah. going, dude. It gets me hyped, dude. You know what, Nam? I tell you, the, you know what? I want to tell both of y'all the craziest gay thing I've ever saw in my life. It's coming. One of them, this dude. So we were in a wrestling camp, and this dude would always be like talking so bad about gay. So he's like, man, fuck that gay shit. And then one time we walked into the bathroom, we were like, what, what, why is this nigga doing helicopters butt naked in front of everybody? That was fucked up. We were like, that's weird, man. You can't be doing that. It's that internal hatred. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then what we found out that day, and, and I used to always wait till everybody was done, so I learned later. I mean, one time I was in there, and I left, and they were like, why you wait till everybody leave? I'm like, come on, what y'all seeing my ass? Mm-hmm. The fuck? What did you say? This is in what, wrestling? Yeah, it was a wrestling camp. Oh, so oh, camp. So you yeah, had to like, stay there Yeah, all we all night stayed night. Everybody okay. had to shower together yeah, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Wrestling camp has to be the gayest shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't a wrestling Straight camp. Straight white guys are the gayest yeah. people in the earth, on the earth. Yeah, yeah. For sure. They yeah. always do. They, Yeah. Gay people are just gay. You know what I'm saying? But they do gay shit, and then they hate gay people also. I never really ventured much into the gay shit, but that was because of my grandparents. Mm-hmm. You know, I asked my grandma as a joke one time. I was like, would you rather me be gay or murder someone? And with zero hesitation, she said, I'd rather you take 10 souls than corrupt your own. Damn. Grab on a plate, okay? <laughs> so, you know, I like having a house to live in. You know, I don't want to be a hunter gatherer or whatever they call them nowadays, dude. I, I, I'd like a place to stay, man. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. All right. You guys ready to watch some clips? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Clip of the week. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go. <laughs> Yeah, I, I get this thing where a lot of girls ask if they can peg me. Solid. I don't know what about me seems so penetrable. Like, I want to be penetrated. It makes me really insecure. And it's happened so much, I've crafted the perfect response to this question. So the girl will be like, would you ever let me peg you? And I'll be like, no, I feel like you would have weak stroke game. <laughs> Accurate. You know, the, your hip flexors aren't going to activate. You don't know the patterns, dude. 
Uh, you're not gonna hit my shit right at the end of the day, you know? My body's a temple. I can I control who enters. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. I oh man, I'm always there for you. I said, fuck you. How dare she, man? <laughs> she probably does not have weak stroke game. <laughs> she does know. not seem like a tender lover if she had a penis. Oh, yeah, she probably goes hard. <laughs> yeah. But but I, I that's one that's one of those jokes that I wrote that I want people to like really bad, but I don't know if they're going to. But I need you only a did it follow-up. like twice. Right? Yeah, yeah. I need a better follow up. I it, need more on Did it, it work the first time? People always laugh when I say I feel like you would have weak weak stroke, stroke game, game, right? Yeah. yeah, I like the joke. I love it. It's That's funny, but th- but seriously, if you were watching this and a girl ever asked to peg you, be like, I'm not against the idea of being pegged, just not by you, because I feel like you would have weak stroke game. That turns women into men. It seriously does. It activates something in their brain, mm-hmm. like the Mulan gene or whatever the fuck, and they they're just so like toxically insecure about this thing. Because they all want to be, they secretly want to be good at everything, dude. Uh-huh. But you can't be good at everything. They can't be good at that. There's just no way. Uh, well, why do you call the, lesbians? I bet they can go to town. Dude, oh, okay, maybe like. Yeah. But if you're, I, I'm 210 pounds. Dude. Mm-hmm. I'm a man, bro. You gotta be two something to do something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Your little 110 pound scrawny ass uh-huh. is not doing anything for me, dude. I know, I, but I know a lot of. Over two hundred and ten pound lesbians that will fuck your ass up. <laughs> well, they're lesbians, around. huh? They're lesbians. They have no interest in men. I'm yeah, saying but, these straight girls. Oh, but you got to say straight. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. By if you say straight girls, then yeah, yeah, they don't know what the fuck they do. But I guarantee no, a lesbian dude. get digging your ass. Yeah. <laughs> I bet, yeah. Right. It's like you. You just fucking lay there. Mm-hmm. When I fuck you, you think you're gonna hit my shit right, <laughs> dude? Are you crazy? Are you insane? Hell yeah. <coughs> Groundhog Hell no, day finna get in that hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Right. I couldn't be pegged. I have aggressive hemorrhoids, so. I couldn't, I, me too, man. I couldn't do that shit either. Yeah, I got yeah, hemorrhoids too. Yeah. Tear me apart. The red I'm Glad we're on this now. Yeah. If I push too hard, I have a problem. Same. <laughs> yeah. Same here, man. It's yeah. horrible hey, shit. Come on, fist bump. Right. Dude, I'm just glad we could t- we could discuss this yeah. shit now, man. Hey. On a proper been, form. I've been hiding it. Yeah. You've been hiding your hemorrhoids? Yes, you get, I've you been get hiding my Perspiration H? What is Preparation that? Preparation H? I haven't, I haven't yeah. done nothing about like it, really. Perspiration. Perspiration? <laughs> you sweat out your ass? Oh, yeah. There you go. Yep. You got to get that. Mm. Tighten you up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just finished my bottle, so. Mm-hmm. I had an ulcer inside my asshole one time. Jesus. And I had to finger myself to put the medicine on it. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. Ugh. That's why I can make those pegging jokes, dude. I earned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you did. Right, you did. Yeah, you've you been did, penetrated man. before. Yeah. Self penetration. <laughs> 50 50 chance that happened <laughs> at some point in your life. <laughs> yeah. 50 50. 50 50. What we got? All right. Go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, as long as you pay me back whenever you say you're going to pay me back. If this doesn't happen, we have a problem. Like I see my one of my boys, he was at Dairy Queen getting ice cream. <laughs> ice cream is for the rich. <laughs> you get great value pudding, and I'm being generous with that. <laughs> you damn right. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> it switched up so fast. That's first thing I have. <laughs> look at Brandon. Look at Brandon. <laughs> Oh shit, we got Alan in there too. Oh shit. Fuck, Alan, shout out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I didn't even Look realize Brandon's I looked face. at Brandon. Like and you can't see, but that thing in front of Brandon, that's Jalen hunched over. <laughs> <laughs> I picked that clip for multiple reasons, dude. That's the sec that's that the second fun. time you played that one. Not this one in particular. No, but this is a different angle from it. No, you the one I played before was you at Shag Nasty's with men, and she said she calls you yeah. The F slur. Oh. This one is a different one. Yeah, it's a different place. This is it. Shenanigans. But she said this so she said the same thing twice. Yeah. Fat. Don't get ice. <laughs> First well, last one was fat. This one. Yeah, there's no else. fat. This one's this is just this, straight up. Yeah, no. A, this one. She said, You're a fat F and fat Fs don't get ice cream. Is that what uh, she said this time? No, this time she took out the fat. Oh. Yeah. yeah she, she just said the other one. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I had to clarify that was that was a yeah, bit yeah, over there. I don't what like the way Brandon's saying? looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I just realized I didn't even know. I look back like, 
We under, she under that's, the <laughs> that's when the special kid in class turned around yeah. to look at you. He's like, going to ask you to borrow a pencil, but it takes him 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, you know what? <laughs> He's like, you want to be my friend? He's just staring at you like this. You get it. You get. You give him a pencil. You get it back. There's like a bite taken out of it. You're like, you can keep it. Dude. Nah, I'll be like, but, um, I was playing. I was playing. But that was oh, funny no. because when Min said it, she was like, uh, and you know, bleeps don't get ice cream. And you're like, you're damn right. And then you remembered where you were, and you're like, oh wait, <laughs> that she, that's her, that's her, that wasn't me. Because she usually gives me the hell Hitler. Yeah. You know, and I go along with it. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, so I was gonna go along with this one, and I yeah. had to be like, oh, oh no, <laughs> I'm not saying this. I just, I just thought it was, I'm not the one saying. I thought this. it was hilarious because you could funny. see the progression of like you being like, yeah, and then you're like, wait, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, That's actually funny. no. Damn right. Oh, hold up. That was like me when I disagree with what you were talking about. I was like, yep, yeah, hold on, no, no segregation. <laughs> see, it happens. That yeah, happens it happens. It, it's okay. <laughs> It happens. All right, guys, that's all for us. Hell yeah. Hey, cool. Who do you have on today? Oh, well, he's not uh he's not Brian Gold, dude. He's Who? Jonathan Silver. Oh, hey. I love it. I love it. The one of the, probably one of the hardest working people in Huntsville Has County. Has to be. He is. Has to be. Top two, not two. He's helped me. Yep. And he's helped me out tremendously in my career. He doesn't even remember doing it, but I love it because yeah. he's just like always trying to give <laughs> Give people pointers and uh, encourage and you to be yourself. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell me to be fat. He's yeah. Like, <laughs> he's, he's like, like I said that. I said, yeah, Nick. <laughs> wrong with you. Uh, all right. Hell we'll yeah. see you in a minute. We got some skits. Dr. Lawrence Redwood. He's a relationship expert who studied with the likes of Jesse Lee Peterson, Kevin Samuels, Dr. Ruth, and he's renowned in the fields of life, love, and the pursuit of sexual happiness. That's Dr. Lawrence Redwood. And that's what the goddamn W. Hello, welcome back to Love Advice. I'm Lawrence Redwood, and that's spelled with a goddamn W. Today we got a couple of questions from some uh, dirty fucking incels or some shit on the internet, and uh, we're going to see if we can answer them uh, before they kill somebody or themselves. Alrighty then. All right, Lawrence, this one is from B. Schmoof. And he asked, I'm struggling to get matches on Tinder. How can I change my profile? You're going to need a lot of cats, obviously. Women love cats. You're going to want to take pictures with as many cats as possible and as many uh, situations as possible. Mostly in bed. You're going to want a lot of pictures of cats in bed. Cats skydiving. Cats canoeing. Cats rodeo blading. Cats rollerblading. Cats in UFC fights. These are the things that attract women, obviously. This is written within us. It can't be denied. They want furry things in dangerous and exciting situations because they need to feel something. They're less captivated. Do you understand? They like things that are soft and fuzzy that maybe show that there's adventure. So have a cat. Show that you do things. Something that she can enjoy. You know? And uh, maybe not your penis. If you send your penis, don't. Nobody wants it. Yet. It's literally made to hide. Thank you. That's Dr. Lawrence Redwood. And that's what the goddamn W. Next question, All please. Right. We, we have a question here from Greg Miller. That Lawrence, idiot. how do I approach women in public without coming off as creepy? Can't be done. Can't be done anymore. Um, you'll have to just embrace that because in our modern society, uh, you really can't approach women in public without coming off as creepy because they've really just been raped and murdered too much. And, you know, hey, I get it. Good game. But it is going to be harder. So you want to play into that. You want to corner them. Use your power. Make a lot of quick, aggressive motions to show them you're a good breeding partner. If you get them against a wall, hit it. Hit it again. Let them know what's going on. God damn it. Are you dressed nice, you fucking idiot? This is brand new shit coming out of Japan, people. You want to show them your power. Do you understand? It's all about nature. That's why you want to hit that fucking wall behind him, dude. You don't want to let him get away. If they make any motion, you make a motion. You understand? 
The women want to be dashed to the ground, all right? None of this pussy shit. God damn it. Thank you. What's the next question? That's Dr. Lawrence Redwood. And that's what the goddamn W. Thank you. I'm Lance Redwood, and that's with a goddamn W. Next question. Black Doll Style asks, What do I do when I find out that my female date has a penis? Instead of a big black mitt, I'm guessing. Okay. Let's say you do find out this lady has got a straight-up hip stick. What do you want to do with that love rifle, buddy? Huh? It's 2024. That doesn't make you gay. All right? Things are different now. And sex is a very primitive thing and primal thing that we fit into a very civilized society. And just because you don't want to bang this woman or man because she doesn't have the parts you wanted doesn't make you wrong. It also doesn't make you gay or weird or some kind of a Jew or something if you do, all right? It's fine. It's all good. All right? It's 2024. And coming with your pussy doesn't make you any less of a man. That's Dr. Lawrence Redwood. And that's what the goddamn W. This one comes from a, and a user who asked to stay anonymous. He said, my wife was just involved in a car accident that has resulted in her being paralyzed from the neck down. Am I the asshole for leaving her and abandoning our four special needs children? No, you're free. What do you not have a fucking window? Put her by that. She's fine. You know, yeah. Get a bird feeder. You're free now. What? D you gonna tell her? What? With Braille? Don't. Don't tell her. Find a place with medical marijuana and lots of windows and live your life. How about that? What are you, a saint? That's Dr. Lawrence Redwood. And that's what the goddamn W. This week's featured comedian. Women's bodies are amazing. Give it up. Women's bodies are amazing. Women's bodies are amazing. I was doing some Googling, and I found out that the amniotic fluid in a womb is mostly just water and electrolytes. I thought, wow, isn't it cool that babies are made in Gatorade? <laughs> you learn something new every day. I hope you know I'm very athletic for my size. I be not I believe I, I slip up on it. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> if I saw you in a football field, I'm running. <laughs> every time no so you probably yeah you'll get away from me running too that was my problem i'm, I'm running <laughs> <laughs> you can't catch me no you catch me i can't catch i'm gonna try to trip you you know like, <laughs> <laughs> remember oh. this <laughs> if i ever see dom run i'm running too because right. if he's running it's something's like happening <laughs> something's that it's cloverfield we run it like, <laughs> Yeah, so right. what's the other one? Uh, Blair Witch Project. Tell us facts there, but I'll, I'll run you in a 40 right now. <laughs> you, think you, be, you think you beat me in a 40? We got a race. I'll do it. I'll do the race. I would love to see I'll Brandon race. run. I know it's weird. Yeah. Brandon will run. I want to see that I'm race. racing you now. For sure. I'll race. I'm fucking smoking you. Yes. That's what's going to happen. Race. Do y'all ever like pause and go out in the parking lot and settle disputes? Y'all ever do that? <laughs> we'll just, oh, start doing it. We're we'll just insert now. it. We'll just, just insert, insert it. <laughs> insert, insert here. Yeah, yeah. Insert here. Oh, we can do this. Yeah. We oh, should yeah. do this. Insert. Yeah. Outside of Cannabar. You Hell guys yeah. should yeah. race. In the, in the, in the, uh, no, we need some. I need you want to race at Cannabar? I got plenty of fish addicts. UAH track. <laughs> Sponsored by On JJ. concrete or rope. Ooh, I don't know. I ain't trying to do it in no field. I know the best one of y'all is going to fall. What's the best parking lot to race in? It can't be Cannabar. The parking lot's too short. Yeah. You could do a field. I was there. thinking the field in the back. He was talking oh, about the, the field. field. Oh, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Next to my house, we have a racetrack thing in this playground where we can run around if you want. Like, it's literally like road and everything, but for running around. Like Just running circles. And okay. a cul-de-sac. Yeah, like a little track. Yeah, yeah we can <laughs> run track. a couple laps. Run the cul-de-sac. You can run the skateboard on. You're going to have some Karen outside. Get off my back of the Or we even got a baseball content. field. It's, con it's content. It's content. We got Karen's are content. Too. That we can just go into. Like, mm -hmm. Speaking of content, door. man, today we are here with the Ooh. king of content oh, in that, Huntsville. Yeah. Number one, he, the hardest worker in Huntsville comedy. I can't would say. be disputed. He's a but but he, th this man is my mentor. Mm -hmm. He gave me multiple opportunities for which I am very appreciative. Hell yeah, a lot of Hell good yeah. advice, both about stand up and content creation. He's the most knowledgeable man in Huntsville when mm. it comes to this shit, dude. Now, who is this? It's Jonathan Silver. Dude. Hey! Hey, oh, thanks yeah, for man. coming on, man. You guys are make me blush and cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be, oh, I just want to thank my parents. 
No, you guys are great. I love you guys. Yeah, you guys are great. Y'all are just... The fact that we even have this that exists in this format with these wonderful cameras, wonderful microphone, you know, a, a full setup is is amazing. It's, Hell it's yeah. well, literally amazing. Well, we got it from, you know, you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You I never did podcasts. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, shit, no, look at all this. Just, it's not the podcast. It's all the content that you put out and all the shows you put on for local comedians. Like, if you want to get on a show, J Jonathan's your best bet. Yeah, and if true. you're funny, Jonathan's going to see you. Jonathan yeah, was the true. first Huntsville comic I ever spoke to. Yep. Did ever. you? T did he tell you our origin story? Uh uh Okay, I'm gonna tell the story. 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 All right. So, okay, I'm gonna tell, and then you tell your side because right, you gotta right. jump in. Okay. So I'm just I'm at home mm -hmm. eating some lasagna or something, you know, like Garfield, <laughs> and I get this message from this kid, and he's just like, hey, "Now listen, I, this is not a flex, but I do get hundreds of messages a day." Mm -hmm. Okay. And I don't have time to always read all of them, but something about this one stood out. And I was like, who is this JJ? And cause I think you started with like, hey, I'm from Huntsville. I think that's what caught my eye. Yeah, yeah, is I that, said did, I was saw that you. Yeah, I said I saw you at the stand up live yeah. new comedy show. Yeah, in yeah. Huntsville. So he had gone to the showcase. Did you okay. buy a ticket? Did you sneak in? What'd you do? No, I, I, uh, <laughs> me and Blake came and watched it. We oh, sat Blake in the very front. We sat in the very front. But the first time I ever saw you was when I went to my first ever open mic at okay. Stand Up Live in March. Oh, okay, and it's the okay, first okay. time they had done it in like six months. So yeah. hella people were there. They had mm. been slacking a little bit. They've been getting a lot better. But I see this message and I'm like, oh, he saw me stand up live. And then, you know, people, they, they DM me this all the time. So I'm like, oh, just come to this. And then he shows up and I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. But then he goes up. And when a man goes up, he blows me away. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, this kid's got it. He, he, You had the rant style down. You you could memorize your sets. It was well written. There were punchlines. They were self-deprecating. You know, you didn't take yourself too seriously. Uh, you know, it was just, I was like, wow, okay, we can work with this. Mm -hmm. And then we were just off from there. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much how I remember it. I remember seeing you at Stand Up Live at the open mic. You went up first. Yeah, the, it's, the bookers like to put me first at, on shows a lot. They yeah, like that. but you I get saw, that crowd. You get the crowd where they need to be. A lot of my material moves a crowd in a way that is beneficial for a lot of comedians. The rest of the show, yes, mm -hmm. I'm a great first comedian. I'm a great headliner too. But uh, you know, if, when you hear my material, you're like, all right, this is where we're at, and it, it's it's a real good it, litmus test for the rest of the show. I was gonna say you're a good headliner. I got a friend, and she was like, whenever we went to the comedy show, you know, these people were funny, but they didn't really interact with the crowd. Mm -hmm. And then you are like, you know, you're going to interact with the crowd. You're going to get them all yeah. feel like they're part of the part of what you're saying yeah oh we're gonna be on the same page yeah yeah we're yeah. gonna we're gonna i'm not gonna give out my jokes but you know <laughs> but 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 if you all know you know if you can't say that tongue twister you know we're not gonna have a good time <laughs> so as long as we're good we're good and the show's good and so yeah I, pretty much every time i've done the stand-up live showcase they put me first okay yeah I see, I see him he comes out on the stage he's got the the short sleeve denim button up <laughs> The jeans and the red shoes. Yeah, dude. yeah. I'm like, who is this character? <laughs> He's Jonathan Silver. Ooh, dude. <laughs> I look like I'm from Arthur's world. What's the, what's the name of Arthur's town? Elwood. I look like I'm from Elwood Woods. Whatever, whatever, whatever the name of that town is. <laughs> I, I do like a cartoon character. Yeah, I do. You I do. do. It's just you know, it's my thing. <laughs> We were talking about you last week on this week's episode that came out today, and I had to put a picture of you up there for reference. We were talking about how you were sitting Indian style and, and playing. Uh, oh, yeah, that was, that was crazy. Y'all yeah, see this man? John looks like he's sitting Indian style, and then he does. Yeah. It's yeah, true. When he's sitting tall. down, he's still as tall as Jacob Baker, dude. It's I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. For ah, sure. Jacob catching strays. <laughs> I had to do that for Dom because I never <laughs> stood up for him. For that. Yo, Jacob's going to be like, those motherfuckers. <laughs> Little ass nigga. <laughs> He's still welcome on the podcast. Yo, where is out. Jacob? Boy, bro, bro, I've tried to book him like three times. I'm like, dog, where are you? I'm in Germany. I'm in Poland. I'm like, I brought the walk <laughs> to Poland. <laughs> I hope y'all don't get flagged for that. <laughs> it's, it's okay if you sing it, right? If you sing it, it's okay. It's not yeah. If you play it, it's not okay. That's fair. Use. Nobody's right. looking That's at this, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody no, the fuck fuck like, yeah. no, like, what are you box. talking about, man? We I mean, have a hundred and ten subscribers. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's hey, real. Listen, yeah, that's real. listen. One ten. Thank y'all too. That's right. Hey, that's, right. that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Give a little applause. 
Thank you. Yes. You get yes. yes. innovation. Thank you. He's like Robin from uh, from Howard Stern. That's, <laughs> <Yeah>. that's, <laughs> that's you ain't like, shit. He Red, like <laughs> who is Robin? Let me see who Robin is. Pull up Robin. <laughs> Look at Robin, bro. It's, Let me it's, see. Uh, it's Howard Stern's <laughs> second mic. <Mike. laughs> <laughs> did I mean to say that you look like a black Rapper. woman? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. See. I did kind of mean that. I mean, I do actually. Like when I had that wig on, he people said Robert. Robert. Oh, <laughs> oh, Robin. He said Robin. And then, he, and then he said, "Hold on, save that picture because then you said I do look like." Hold this on, person. let me save it. It's him. a white man. Uh, shit, <laughs> Robert Patton. Hold on, hold on. The Twilight guy. Oh, oh the, that, I mean, shit. If I was a uh, Twilight, you don't you know? mean the Batman? <laughs> he said, "He said I do look like." Let me see. You never know. Like I said, look in the alternate universe. Hey, shit. I go working now. I'm Brandon, like, you do not look like this nigga, bro. What are you talking about? He's, he's insane. Robin. Our, he's insane. Hold on. He's, he's insane. I think it might be a while. He said he looks like Robert Pattinson. Pulls up Robert Pattinson. Ba- this Pattinson. might be worse than the oh, Francis and Gunner thing. It, it might be the worst one yet. No. I kid up. Okay. Hey. <laughs> okay, that's a perfect one right there. <laughs> oh, oh my god Okay I say it down Oh man <laughs> it look like I should say it down Wait no that one All the way on the stupid, right Where right uh, That one right there you This stupid. is me in 2010 Ooh, I didn't mean to rush you so hard <laughs> no, man, this, this is funny I consider that a, as, a, as, a, as a compliment <laughs> That is a compliment That was a compliment But damn she don't look like your mama <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, back funny. on track. Back. So yes, we were at Stand Up Live, <laughs> and, uh, and we was having a good time. And uh, and yeah, and so JJ came out, and you know, and then when he brought you, I was like, "Yo, are all these dudes friends funny? Like, what is going on? This whole crowd well, is me, coming out." Me and Don we, didn't know each other. We just before. happened to meet get that the hell time. out of here. You want to know who? To- tell me your origins. So look, I tell you, and uh, I know Pat watched this, and you go, you gonna have oh, to listen to this. Gosh. So look. So I had y'all came, didn't know each other. No. I came, I came a month before I met JJ. Right, mm-hmm. I had just got off of the Kill Tony thing. I was like, I'm gonna go try Mike. The only one I could find was Shenanigans. Shout out Kim. And then, shout out to Kim. And shout out to Shenanigans. Yeah. So, so I went there, and I and looking back, I can't find. I didn't. I don't know any comedians there was besides one Pat, and he was the one yeah, you could yeah. tell was like had had been doing it for a minute, at least on on the Shenanigans stage that night. Yeah. Jacob Baker ended up winning that night. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he snuck through the cracks, and then. Uh, <laughs> Smith catches strays <laughs> every no, conversation. No, no. But he did. So, so Jacob was definitely <laughs> the best Dom, one. Dom like, started it off with nobody that I know now was there. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody good. I don't know that big nobody there. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, that's, that's, the the, that's what it was. No, no, no. That's what it was. It was me and Brandon. No, 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 no. You're behind the booth, though. Yeah, I was the DJ at the time. You were DJing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. but you didn't go up. Wait, no. You remember the time we did both go up? So, so yeah, yeah. So Brandon did go. Up. Look, yeah, look. that was the one. Wait, that was the time I did <laughs> Nobody go up first open mic. So we 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 both started at the same yeah. time because we both went to the same one first. Shenanigans, right? At Joker's Wild. Yeah, yeah Joker's, Joker's Wild. Wild. Okay. And then the only but I'm saying older comedians that was there that I looking back on and know now was was Pat. And then Brandon was talking to Pat afterwards, and I was like, Hey, you you guys know where the open mics was? And Pat was like, There's one over here. There's one over here. I was like, And I was I I felt some type of way. I'm That's like, a spot on impression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I hooked you up. I yeah. sent you all the shit. I yeah, yeah. Like, up, man. Jo- yeah. Whenever you you hooked me up with mm-hmm. Jonathan, the next that's the next time. Mm-hmm. But then so I left and I was kind of, I felt some type of like damn these niggas don't even fuck with me. I was like I I wrote five minutes out. It, it mm-hmm. wasn't good, mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying I did it. And then I came back the next time to uh, shenanigans and that's where I met uh, JJ. And then I met you that time because you was like yeah yeah get take take and you showed me where all the open mics were. Oh, and you got me show. on okay, and I was like good. hell yeah. And then good. I start I just start coming going to the open yeah. mic. Yeah, but Pat. I said I asked Pat about it. He was like, "Yeah, I ain't think you was gonna be funny because you too cute." Whoa! Hey, oh, yo. I'm putting him out there. He yo. told me this. Hey, told me yo. this. Oh, I said, that. "I said first of all, yes, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> no, no, no. bro." That but is a like, wild what? first thing to say to That's that's. that's like. <laughs> I, I was like, Pat, I was trying to, you know. Help me out here. You're too he funny like, to be cute. Yeah, yeah. What? Sounds like a jail. You blew me up. <laughs> what? 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 You in prison? What the fuck? Patrick, we gonna have to have a conversation. <laughs> now, Pat, my nigga, I fuck with Pat. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. We gonna have Pat on here. That so you guys yeah. meet yeah. at the second one that you had gone to, mm-hmm. but it just became a natural thing. After Lit, that point, I mean, like within five minutes of talking to each other, he's wow. asked me to do. A, he was, he was like, dude, yeah, I was, was like, he was like, I think if we did a podcast together, it'd be good. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but he was the way I liked him because he was like, I'm serious about this shit. I said, shit, me too. He's like, no, I'm like serious. See, serious. that's what attracted me first because yeah. you can always tell when someone's about it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, he's already making his own content. 
He's already he's he's researching where he needs to be and he considers content as something that's a high priority. You got to make content. Mm -hmm. You can't not make content, even in a small way, even if it's just you talking, you have to make something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, he's taking it seriously because a lot of folks were not taking it seriously. And that bothers me. Yeah, that yeah, bothers I can see, me I can a see lot. It bothers oh, yeah, it yeah, bothers yeah. me so much. Well, it, it hurts the legitimacy of the scene as a whole. True. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, but that that was a lot. Uh, shout out to Blake. He does a shout lot for Blake. the podcast. Oh, oh like, yeah. You know, all Where's Blake's unsung stuff. hero? Him and Jack. He is, he is one of the most motivated people I've ever met in my life. And I, I was telling him, like, I love comedy. I think I might want to try it out. But, like, everybody fucking says that. But he was like, do it. Do uh-huh. it. Go do it. I'll go with you. So that's when we went to the stand-up live, Mike. And he was really pushing me to do social media. Because he was like, it can only help oh, really? you. Really? Mm-hmm. It can only help Blake you. Blake oh, okay. is a W man. Yeah, Blake. Yeah. Oh, Blake's, that, Shout Blake's about Blake. that shit. Yeah. yeah. Did he go the clips, to- the clips that you watch, that's Blake. The clip. Yeah. Oh, oh, help, oh, help with the clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you yeah, see yeah, a clip the, online? That's Blake. On that's Blake. Blake. Shout out to you, Blake. Oh yeah. Shout out to you, Blake. Oh, he, he about that business. He that's he, he dog, really helped. He really helps mm. us out at Clown College mm, for mm, sure. Mm. Hell yeah. yeah. Huge. Huh? Yeah. That's that's why I started. And I was surprised that more people weren't already posting on social media. I'm like, if you're going Bro. to open mics three times a week, why aren't you making? Listen, videos? listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna say something controversial. Post your open mic content. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Post. Ooh. Post your open mic content. I do it. I, I remember do it. that. I, this camera. Post mm-hmm. your open mic content. This camera. Post your open mic content. Don't nobody give a fuck. Don't nobody care. Mm-hmm. If it's funny, it's funny. Post it online. Like Throw them hashtags up there. Who cares if it's some shit? Post it online. I s- bro. Okay, I've cultivated my algorithm to show me new comics, to mm-hmm. show me people who haven't been posting for very long, to show me who, people who haven't been doing comedy for very long. And I, so I get these videos of people who they're on day two of starting comedy. And it's, it's bad, mm-hmm. but some of it's actually really good. Yeah, You post that clip. I have seen people. I got one girl sitting on my phone right now. She's at like 800 followers. And that's not a slight to nobody. You know, mm-hmm. It's just great. That's, that's but, a whole bunch more to yeah, me. Yeah, it's just like, it's just, she, but her her like third stand up video has like 100,000 likes on it. For real? Yes, bro. Wow. It yes. Happens, it happens Hell like yes, that. Yes, it happens mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, especially on TikTok. And I'm talking about Instagram Reels. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I deal more with Instagram. So, you know, anybody that says stuff like, oh, you shouldn't post because it's bad, yeah, join the club. We're mm-hmm. all posting bad content. Like, it's not. It's not what you think it. Post your shit. Focus quantity first. Quality comes with quantity. Yes. Once you learn the game, mm. yes. you got it. That's that's what Blake was telling me. So I po- I post like five five to ten videos a day for yes. a couple months, and then yes. started doing like three a day. Now I don't, now I haven't posted in like a month. Right. But I got I got to get back on the grind. Five I'm to gonna, ten I'm days start doing it too. Uh, but I'll tell you, you know, I don't like that. You come to Twitter. Hey, you come to Twitter. Fuck with me. <laughs> Yo, I fuck heavy with Dom on Twitter, bro. <laughs> Bro. Everything I'm gonna like, I know you can't like it, but I'm gonna like it for you. Uh, <laughs> everything Don puts on Twitter, I think it's funny. <laughs> I'm like, y'all yeah, shouldn't be like it. I can't be caught. You can't, you I can't, can't be, be caught, caught liking this. I understand if you don't like it. Bro. Trust me. <laughs> like, don't actually like physically like it, but you're gonna chuckle. That shit is you're gonna funny. Get it, bro. The thing is, you don't understand. Your shit would kill on TikTok. What you would kill on TikTok Hell if yeah. you did like people love watching videos with different characters. Uh-huh. You play characters extremely well. Oh, yep, you could definitely blow up on TikTok. Yep, hundred percent. Let's talk about cross posting your content. Okay, let's True. talk about that. You yeah. gotta cross post your content. Okay, you gotta put it on every platform. So do you? Whenever you do that, do you got like a, something that does it for all of them? It's all manual. All you so you go through each. I one. I go through each one one by uh-huh. one. And the reason, okay, I'm, the reason. It's gotta it okay, it ain't gotta be like that. Okay. If you're working in something like After Effects, you're working in something like Adobe, whatever, mm-hmm. then you can create the content outside. But what ends up happening is is that the aspect ratio cannot be, I will say, adequately converted. Um and let's okay, let's say it is and you filmed in four K. Your four K is not coming across on IG Reels. Oh no no it's no. Just yeah. like, it's just you did all that work for nothing. So mm-hmm. but let's just say that's how you want to do it. You make your content in Adobe. Then you pour it over to your iPhone. You put it on there. And then you can use like a deck where it's, it posts to YouTube and Instagram and all that. But for me, the tools that I use and I like are on TikTok. They're on Instagram. Okay. And you, 
essentially, in my opinion, in my opinion, I want to use the tools that a lot of your peers are using. So if they're using green screen, you want to use a green screen. If they're using a filter, mm -hmm. you know, just something it's, it's, it's like a filter, like a, a dog, or you know, you know those rat filters that they have when people be like, oh, rats are in the system or whatever. They're like making a joke about rats. There's a filter that puts a rat filter on your face. Adobe doesn't oh, have oh, that. Oh, you, oh, you mean like a, like it looks like a rat. Yeah, it looks like yeah, a rat. Yeah, yeah, like, it it, it turns know. your face into a rat. Yeah. Like, Adobe doesn't have that, mm -hmm. and if everybody's doing that, you got to do you know you got to do what TikTok's doing. Yeah. So you got to put that on. So you got you got to make your content in the app. It doesn't really allow. And that's you. free, right? It's free. It's free. It's yeah, free. it's just a free editing software that's it's for free. for their program it's for their, for their yeah. yeah. And I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but TikTok uh, gives a boost to videos that are made in the platform. Mm. And I'm not saying they push down videos that aren't but they certainly they give, give they give, that they give a boost, boost. Yeah, yeah they give it a boost and so when you make it in the con it, it incentivizes you to make your content in the app and then you can download it but you got to download it without a, without a watermark and that's and that's another thing i, I yeah. JJ, JJ was he trying to figure out yeah that. he was trying to figure that out and so you know when you when you cross post and you want to be able to be able to post the same video across all platforms and it'll look the same and so if you yes if you've made it off the off the app you can do that but if you have made it in the app you can't download it until you've posted it and so basically what I do is I got to make the video in TikTok or Instagram, download it without the watermark, then repost it to all the content with the mm. same hashtags. And every hashtag system is different. So I have been able to kind of algorithmatize my hashtags to where I can use the same hashtags across every platform. But that's only through... Uh, <sighs> probably nine months of trying different hashtags damn you got it, you got it, you have to just watch the hashtags and you got to like see how far they reach and you got to just kind of see, see all the using. analytics of it yeah and and they're not gonna they're not gonna show you the analytics what mm -hmm. you what you're really looking for is you're looking for usage i'd say usage is number one how many people do you see using this particular hashtag how many uh posts are under it um, and how many likes does each post have? So, and this is a lot of work. So mm -hmm. you gotta click the hashtag, you go in there and say, okay, this hashtag has, has 10 posts, but each post has, you know, a million likes on it. You're like, all right, I'm gonna throw this one on there. Mm -hmm. But if you have another one that has 100 posts with only two likes, that's, that's a dead hashtag. I call it, I have little nicknames for everything. I call mm -hmm. it dead. I was like, this hashtag's dead. So when once your hashtags are dead, you can swap them out. There are certain hashtags that are always being used, but they're like, it's like throwing, it's like trying to skip rocks against the Pacific Ocean. Like, it's just too much. It's just too much. Like hashtag comedy. Mm -hmm. Everybody's using hashtag yeah, comedy. Yeah. Every, so you got to get a little more specific. Hashtag sketch comedy. And then sketch comedy has like only sketches. Now, some people who don't swear by hashtags, they're like hashtag a bunch of bullshit. Uh, I'm, I'm on team hashtag. Okay. So it I, worked for you. Do you got yeah, a spreadsheet with all this information? I got it all. So I have it in my notes app. So I got my notes app. Okay. And I got I got certain hashtag if somebody dms me is like yo can i get some hashtags yes here are some hashtags i have Hell hashtags yeah. that i'm like i'll be dm these are the <laughs> hashtag especially in you know there's this idea of niching down i don't know if you ever ran into this when you were over at tiktok about niching down you ever hear about that just like getting more specific with yeah your like right you're supposed to like have a niche that only you that's the only where you post okay. As comedians, I don't really believe in that personally. Mm -hmm. I think that as comedians, we should be able to comment on a wide variety of things. But um, but there are certain things you shouldn't touch for sure. You know, Israel Hamas, don't don't talk about it. <laughs> like, like, just, <laughs> well, I learned just that. Just leave it alone. Okay, it ain't it ain't for you. But you know, if there's a Palestinian comedian who wants to talk about, it, then you know she can she or he can do that. But um, I'm gonna leave that one alone. So you know, I don't know shit about it. Yeah, that's it's just like some, some things you just gotta leave mm -hmm. alone. But if you've niched down, then you only talk about what's in your niche. But I'm like, you know, okay, you make the the, the, the solo podcast stuff. What if you want to make a grimace video? What if you want to make a, a reaction video? You know, like, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. well, if I'm supposed to be niching down, then I can't do that. Nah, fuck that. D make the video. Yeah, like I, make that, the video. Oh, that was my philosophy. Yeah, because right? mm -hmm. about that grimace video ended up being the most viewed, most yes. liked video I ever made. Oh, so sure. proud. One of my friends, the one you met, uh, that uh, likes the Funkos. Funkos, Funkos. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was his name? John. Uh, John. John. We ain't supposed to say it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my bad. Bleep, yeah, bleep his name. He'll be There's a lot of fucking Johns. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Second John. But he, he, whenever uh, he first met JJ and JJ showed him that video of the grandma, he was like, oh, I've seen that. So he yeah. already seen it without even knowing who he wow. is. The best feeling is when my friends send me my other friends' content and they don't know I'm friends with them. Mm. they'll be like oh here's this video of this girl roasting people on bumble and i'm like oh you mean sierra moses hell yeah and they're like yeah i love her stuff and i'm like 
yeah, we hang out, bro. <laughs> like we're <laughs> friends. Matthew Lumber is another one who people send me his content. So oh, yeah. yeah. And so it's it's just it's cool. That's why I'm like seeing we gotta make content. You gotta make everything and mm-hmm. anything. It don't matter what it is. If you think it's funny, put it up there. Somebody's going somebody's gonna mess with it and it's gonna be it, it, it edifies everybody. That's my soapbox. I'm very passionate about everybody making content. Hell yeah, I love it. I love yeah. it. Man. You're the king of content. I, mean, I try. If you man. follow, hey, go follow Jonathan Silver. You're gonna see. You're gonna see some good stuff. I try to be uh, funny. Yeah. I, I try to make stuff interesting for people. But yeah, I post like I post probably 30 videos a week. You know, I probably post seven a day. Or well, seven times five, 35. Oh, it's more. It's more than that. Okay, maybe it's about 40 videos a week. Damn. And that's yeah. hard, man. Hell yeah. yeah Come up with 40 man. original ideas. Yeah, that's and crazy. And I would, I'm glad you mentioned originality. You know sequences stitches i wouldn't say they're wholly original because i am piggybacking off of the success of that video but there are videos i have that are original like the water videos yeah they're, they're very very original that um do go viral and so yes i, I hear what you're saying it's, it's just a mixture of both you know just do what you think is funny it's just a lot of content yeah. to put out it's that's a lot, content. That's a lot it's dog. a lot as soon i was i was right before i came here i was filming <laughs> i was filming i gotta <laughs> drive over here record Thankfully, I'm done for the day. But, uh, Hell yeah. yeah. You come to box out tonight? I probably I gotta oh, go to well, sleep. You just, had, <laughs> you, you just had a beautiful baby girl, right? That's Congratulations. Right. I'm Congratulations. a girl dad. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. You've been, up, you've been up a lot? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I was literally feeding her right before I came here. Uh, <laughs> I was literally in like, in my arms, I'm like, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go, baby, bye. <laughs> yeah, no, no, nah, I'm gonna I'm go home and get to my, get to my baby girl. And um, I'll see y'all at... Um, if y'all come to Silver Bullet on Tuesday, I'll see you guys there. Oh, oh yeah, 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 we'll be yeah. there. I'll and be then sure. after that, the next two weeks is gonna be Nico because I because uh, we're doing alternating. So okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're this week and then Nico's right. Next yeah, week? I'm I'm second and fourth. We split it like a divorced parent, <laughs> and uh, he's first and third. I'm second and fourth, <clears throat> and he'll do fifth weekends too. So yeah, so we're uh, we're we're splitting dudes with that one because I couldn't I couldn't do every week. Unfortunately, okay. yeah. You, you know, uh, JJ is the new host of. That's right. Give oh, this yeah. man oh, a yeah. hand clap. Go. Give yeah. this Go man a there, hand man. clap. Yeah. Let me see your hand yeah. clap. <laughs> <laughs> That's a personal <laughs> clap. That's right. But uh, shout out to Daniel Castillo. Hell shout yeah. out Daniel. Oh, yeah. He's the shout one out. who shout started out. the Shag Nasties, Mike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brandon, did you Google rap filter? I yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. I, I, I surfed it up for you. <laughs> I saw him typing it in. You should have seen how long yeah, it took. I was like, because I knew what you were talking about. I was like, that looked funny as can shit. Let me show you. The, can they see this too? Like, yeah, they yeah, yeah. will. You know what? Let me show you this one too. I'm going to save this one also. I turned around. Me. And all I see is an army of rat people. <laughs> I'm just like, what is oh going on? Oh my goodness. We would be remiss if we kept talking about social media content and did not give props to Brandon. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. One That's, of the most consistent nah, man, I posts. Appreciate it. That's Hell why I yeah. Brandon. Funny, you. funny this is why skit I video. with you guys. Because you guys take it seriously. Very serious. Brandon posts his videos every day. He has a new video every day and they're funny. I'm sitting there yeah. laughing like, what is this dude on? <clears throat> skits skits yep. he comes skits. up he comes up with all those ideas yeah all those. you that, guys take it seriously and Go that's ahead. just the tip of the iceberg oh, of his <laughs> ideas brandon and you're editing the way you're organized and you get everything keep everything flowing i'm like yes that's you need that well, you need everybody working together yeah well we, you know like Jalen said this and i you know he's he's young but he's a old he's an old man old Jalen's an old soul for sure. and then um but he was like uh you're only as good as you're in the scene you're only as good as your worst comment you know what i'm saying like the whole scene so whenever they come people come out to see us and if even if you're just going to open mic i'm telling you these open mics um th- you're going to get some people with some heat a lot of them mm-hmm. and if you got people consistently mm-hmm. you know being being able to bang out there you got most people on this scene you could put on a five minute ten minute show i mean you right. could and, and you'll be okay Right, and so uh, I love I love that philosophy. You want everybody to be good. I want everybody to be good. First of all, I love comedy, so you got right. more people you can laugh right. at. I you want to sit through to twenty people shows. that suck or huh? twenty people that are funny. Yeah, you right. Yeah. You want twenty three people that are fucking funny. Right. Yeah. You gotta you gotta create a format that allows them to win, and I believe I've done that with the apartment shows. Oh hell yeah! Is too. it allows everyone to win, and if you. So tell them what the apartment yeah. shows are. So the apartment shows are you, this camera right here. This this yeah, which yeah, yeah. They make it. Um, the apartment shows are 
you know, we go into apartment complexes and we put on shows for the residents, you know, and mm-hmm. the leasing office, sometimes they're really excited about it, sometimes they're a little wary about it, but they need like an event. Um, and so I just say, hey, you know, do you guys do events for your residents? And they say, yeah, we do. And I say, you ever thought about doing a comedy show? And they go, no, no, we have it. I say, hey, I, I know comedians. I'm a comedian too. And then they're usually a little surprised. And now, you know, I, this is an idea. That anybody can take this idea. Although mm-hmm. that if you do go to any apartment shows, apartments in Huntsville, you, chances are I've done one already at them. But, you know, whatever. You got to pay the fee if you come over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. We'll whoop that ass. Nah, they, listen, I need 10%. Listen, tell, hey, tell. you know, I mean, hey, let, you know and long, just book me for it. I just, I just want to be booked for it, you know. And it came, the idea came out of, like, I wanted my, my friends were funny. Mm-hmm. And I said, I want my funny friends to be heard by people. This is not fair that I have. I mean, think about somebody like sci-fi. Yeah. Think about sci-fi. Who murders? Mur- oh, murder. Yeah. Every mic. Mm-hmm. Every mic. No matter where he's at. It could be open mic. Yeah. It could Shows be too. it could be a closed mic. Mm-hmm. It could be a showcase. It could be a lowercase. <laughs> it could be an uppercase. <laughs> Whatever. I just it could be any kind of case. Okay. It could be an attache case. Okay. Mm-hmm. It could be a briefcase. Okay. Enough. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> it could be anything. Okay. This man murders. Yeah. Everywhere. And so I'm like. You're not going to put stand-up uh, uh, sci-fi stand-up live? For real? You're not going to put them on... That's uh, insane. In- it's absolutely you insane. You are mental, as the British say. You're mental, okay? You got to put this man's talent somewhere. All right. This as many times doing. as you could... I mean, you... I, sh- I would feel like I was lucky yeah. to get... If I was a ta- if I was a guy evaluating the talent, we get... I get to have this guy, like, pretty much whatever Listen. I want if they were being real with this. Yeah. So. This is going to be the first and last podcast y'all have me on. Because <laughs> this... this no, I look, no, I'm, no, I'm going to no. tell you this is what's going on. The person who books Stand Up Live it does not live in Huntsville. Mm. Oh, okay. So this person does not see our talent. Mm-hmm. This person does not see our hard work. This person does not see our camaraderie. This person does not see um, our charisma. They yeah. only see the club that they manage from another city. You know, mm-hmm. imagine imagine you playing for a ball club and the owner lives in like Ireland or something. Yeah. You know, no shit against Ireland. You know, but it's just yeah. like it's un- unfathomable. You'd be mm-hmm. like, how how are you supposed to? How, how do we even have a connection with you? And so that person has never seen sci-fi in person. Has mm-hmm. never seen me in person. You know, you Hell see one yeah. of my sets, you're like, oh, this guy's got it. It's uh, like, what yeah. thousand percent? You ain't got to say it. We'll yeah. say it for you. It's like, come on. Jonathan going to have that crowd. Come on. come on. Come on. And so, you know, going for toiling for, you know, a couple years, mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, we got to do something else. So we can have the apartment shows. And so it's 10 comics, five minutes each. Um, and so, you know, you negotiate a price with the, um, uh, with the with the venue, and I'll I'll tell you guys how much after you know. Well, you know, you know you know you about to find out from the you know, <laughs> yeah you have to find out. But you know you yeah. you go in there and you say, look, this is how much these folks are worth. And then five five minutes, everybody can kill it five minutes. Mm-hmm. But you structure the lineup in a way that allows everybody's style to bounce off of each other. You can't book two low energies n- next to each other. Mm-hmm. You can't book two two dirty folks next to each other you can book a dirty guy yeah or a dirty girl that usually be me uh-huh. you're right <laughs> exactly i have little names from all i call them alt i'm like this guy's alt okay uh-huh. this guy's dirty okay but honestly you you you're really you're black and military that's what you are <laughs> because you say it in your set right so uh-huh. anytime you say military people automatically they think something so i'm like all right he's gonna say that so let's do somebody after because if you do too many people people they just lose interest because they've heard the same thing every Mm -hmm. time 100 percent. but but you can't also can't put two high energies next to each other because now the crowd feels like it's a blitzkrieg on them and so you just gotta Mm. vary it and you gotta vary the because some people's voices are loud some people's voices are soft some people's voices are are kind of scratchy some people talk very fast you know you put jake's muncie somewhere and then you put dom after and then you put jj somewhere you know you put brand somewhere brandon talks a mile a minute bro. Yeah. it's like, Brandon's like blah, 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 blah. so i was in my car right it's like, 
<laughs> Go watch Brandon's stand up clips. Hell yeah. Yo, Brandon. Working on slowing it, though. You're working on slow. Okay, mm-hmm. good. Brandon, you talking like you're on a treadmill. <laughs> you're just like, you know, there's tons of running laps. But no, but it's fine. It's fine. Because when you book that style, you got to book mm-hmm. with somebody next to it. So anyway, so you just, apartment show. And then and then the apartment, they it's, it's a good time. It's a great time. They, they, have a great, they had a great time. They were loving it. They loved it. And everybody, I mean, people were smashing. Spe- and some of the stuff, you know, I like when Raina goes up there and does her. I know. I ain't going to say her joke, but, yeah. but I love that. And then they were, you did not, I did not think this crowd was going to be into it. But That's they right. were fucking, That's right. fucking it's with a, it. It's a, a good book. And they're at home. And they can drink. They're at home. And they just got to go down the elevator to their fucking. They're chilling. Uh, and then, that kind and, of and, and, and here's the best part. We just paid 10 comics. Yeah. 10. 10. Good. So if I did two a week, I was paying 20 comics a week. In the summertime, we were definitely doing 20 a week. Damn. And that's how you build the scene. You got to be you got to be booking big showcases every week. You just got to figure out who's willing to pay for it. You mm-hmm. know, who wants comedy? Who wants to see comedy? And then you just curate. Curate, curate, curate. But not this like not this drip you know, there's some people just, oh, just there's got to be one. You know about this. There's got to yeah. be only can only be one this and one yeah, that. Yeah. Fuck nah, all bro, that. Nah, 10, yeah. 10, 20 if we can help it. Mm-hmm. You know, it just you, if you have the right attitude, it'll be that's what you'll get. So yeah, yeah. that's where the apartment shows came from. So it was great. Hell was great. yeah. Oh, those things are fun. I can't wait for you to go on it. Yeah, that's we'll see, dude. So, so now it may shoot. suck. It may it may be terrible. <laughs> you know, it may be it may be absolutely terrible, but yeah. it may be great. Where's the one we do? Where's the one we doing? Oh, I remember now. Yeah, we good. I think we're good. I think we're good for that one. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't very reassuring. I, I, yeah, I, I can't remember because I got so, I got so many shows in my brain. But uh, you saw the lineup, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We we good. You see, he was closing too. I'm closing. No, no, yeah, you first. <laughs> nah, you first, bro. That's Who's another. closing? It's Scott. Scott oh, I saw him. I saw he was in the group chat. I yeah, didn't know yeah, yeah. that. I didn't that, post the lineup. I don't. You might have. I don't think I saw it. Though. Okay, I'll post the lineup again. I, yeah, I like hell, the yeah, start, yeah. Scott starting to come so around. So we could. Scott yeah. starting to come around. Yeah. <laughs> we know we, we went out to the, um we went out to uh what's that Moody Mondays. Oh okay. And me and him got in an argument. You guys it, got an it argument? was a fun argument though. It was a what fun were you argument. arguing about? About Tony Hinchcliffe. Because <laughs> he because he had he had Tony I guess his friend the one that Tony got canceled well, can quote unquote canceled for was his friend the Asian Y'all dude. Have to, oh Hans Kim. No 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 it was a, it was an Asian dude before Alex that. Z. <laughs> yes, yes, Alex E was opening for yeah, him. <laughs> he will one day. He but, will. Yeah. Alex Alex is so into who he is. Yeah. Like one day the right crowd is gonna get on Alex mm-hmm. and it's gonna be over. Yep. I promise you. I promise you, I promise you. I bet he he could he could get a good crowd yeah, of yeah. just being so. Alex. A just cult. being himself. Yeah, a, a cult, cult. Oh, cult. For That's sure. Correct. Cult a cult oh yeah. yeah, he's definitely cult following yeah. for yeah. sure. Hell for yeah. sure. Yeah. So Alex E. Yeah. opening for <laughs> but, but i was i was saying i was saying i like how me and scott we, we know we, we were over there. we're having a little heated we were drinking yeah, yeah, yeah drinking, we were drinking. Ha- we were it's having a drunken like, argument yeah yeah and but, but not like hardcore and then we right. could go after that and then uh agree on something and then disagree on right. something else and we could just bullshit That's how bros and are. talk shit mm-hmm. yeah but you know what the guy he you know he he runs uh well he he i know he's like one of the bigger figures of the uh, godfathers of huntsville comedy right you talking about scott scott he's, oh yeah, of course yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah, he's yeah. like so he's like for him to be out there and just mixing it up i didn't see him before and then he started to come around i thought that was pretty cool oh you hadn't known who he was i didn't know who he was yeah Yeah. scott is the first person to perform on the stand-up live stage yeah he told it he he told us and that is so significant because you know stand-up comedy in huntsville before us was very uh, there was quite the antagonistic relationship with the audience they, uh, you know, Carl Paul, Matthew Tate, um, even um, oh, Tate. Justin, Matthew Dirt, my, my <laughs> mentor, my mentor. Shout out. Um, you know, they tell me these stories of audience members fighting them after mics. And I'm like, That's what, wild. what the fuck's going on, bro? Uh-huh. What's fighting you? And so, and he's like, yeah, well, they, like, the, there were these bikers that fought, and then there were some audience members, some ex-boyfriends. Yeah. I was like, it was a crazy time. It was wild, wild west. You know, we, you know we're I'm in college. You know, I'm down the street just hanging out in college, and people niggas fighting people in the, in the uh-huh. parking lot at com- after comedy shows, at, you know, in, in 2011 <laughs> or whatever it was. <laughs> but, you know, so... It, it, Scott, uh, Scott's been through a lot to build Huntsville comedy, mm-hmm. and to have had Epic for so long is 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 monumental. Hell yeah! So shout out to that man. Shout out to that Hell man's yeah. work ethic. Shout out. Yeah, and so you know, it's just it's just incredible. 
Yeah. Pun intended. Incredible. <laughs> it's epic, if you will. Or even awesome, if you want to throw a third one on there. <laughs> so you, did you start out with sci-fi? You, and si- you got him to go or he got you to go? This is why I loved you two. Uh-huh. Because I have a feeling that comedy duos are stronger than singles. Uh-huh. Um, it was just, I'm so surprised you guys didn't know each other. Uh-uh, I, know, um, I ain't noticed man. So my origin, <laughs> yeah, just, just, that's just cr- so crazy. You're, I thought you're the you'd... first Indian person I've ever met. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Hold up. Never there seen one before. <laughs> JJ. JJ walked up and said, do you have some curry? <laughs> and he said, no, nigga, I'm, I'm black and German. He, he didn't know until I said my first joke what I was. He was like, I was wondering, man. Dog, like, that, see, and that's a strong joke because only you can tell that. Because you're right. Mm-hmm. We, uh, you I don't mean, know. I know. I, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know either. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know. Either. Yeah, I didn't. And it's because your beard's so soft. Uh, <laughs> I, I, beard, keep, I, I, yeah. uh, I condition it every day. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, I didn't know. But I, I didn't really care, but I, I didn't know. Until yeah, but it, 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 it don't got to care. But I, I know when I fuck with people. Right. Like, that's why right. I, I used to do that joke to open with. But I like to open with something else to let them marinate on it. Like, mm-hmm. what the fuck is this? Yeah. Is he about to say nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you never yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's coming. It's coming. Is yes. <laughs> that word coming. You just got a unique look, man. I've never really you seen do. anybody that looks like you yeah. before. So yeah. there's a lot of ways it could have went. Yeah. I never really now, seen that on. many Samoan. Now, hold on. This is Samoan the pot calling people. the kettle black. This, right. this dude got a, got a unique look, yeah, too. Right. Like, <laughs> yes, you do, bro. Yes. But I'm white. That's, <laughs> that's clear. That's clear from the jump. At least you can. You have a reason to hate me. That You have more than one, but that's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. Dude. Nah, but your white look different than Jack's white. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We're gonna <laughs> Man, put a picture on like you. Bro. Pre- me, me and Jack are on the same page, at least. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, no, nah, nah, no. See, when I, nah. they're, they're not the same white. It's the it's you're red or white. Red. Oh, I have peach undertones. Yeah, he's more of a dead white. <laughs> <laughs> Ghastly white, like the Undertaker. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna do a nicer one. You're like Mississippi, and then he's like California. Like you go to California, but that was not nice. That was not nice. To Mississippi's not nice. You go from <laughs> lowest so, GDP no, no, to no, highest GDP. Up. Huntsville, Alabama. Okay, Huntsville, not Mississippi. You're not Huntsville. making a That's much better joke. Yeah, 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 but you're right. But you're right. Yeah, you get what I'm He is Mississippi. Not Atlanta. <laughs> no, it's because you got the chain, and that that denotes some kind of swag. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I was like, okay. There's swag in it, and you rock the mustache very confidently. It's a very confident stash, rock. Yeah. It's not a it's not a, a, a head down, I'm a hide the stash, it's a head up, mm. I'm gonna show you the stash. I've got it, dude. I've, right. I completely like have dedicated my entire look to comedy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't care. Yep. Like it's like this is not a thing for women. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> women don't like this shit. <laughs> I'm not here for the comedy That's bitches. Why I like. <laughs> I'm here That's for the I swear. <laughs> I want the boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, women aren't buying tickets to the shows. Their boyfriend they, buying they the tickets for them. No, to that's go. facts. Sorry, yeah. I'd be cool with their boyfriend. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if their boyfriend's and when they, if you're too attractive, men don't like you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why Pat that's said why you're too cute to date comedy. And I'm not even that guy. attractive. Pat's just horridly ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick catches Hold straight. Shit, Pat, my nigga. That was a shit, shot. That was, that was a shit. shot. That wasn't even a straight. That was a cannonball. Nah, nah, I'll fuck with Pat. Pat. No, I love him. That's my nigga. But no, nah, yeah, so sci fi. <laughs> <laughs> another ugly nigga. No, I'm just playing. Damn. I'm just playing. I'm, just, ugly, my nigga. Nigga. I'm playing, playing sci. Si. I love you, sci. I love you, sci. <laughs> nah, he. So. The, the the full story with us is, you know, we have no. We say it all the time. We have known each other for 10 years. Uh huh. And. I had always wanted to do comedy since I was 14. I was like, I want, I want to do comedy. I want to stand comedy. I live in Huntsville, Alabama. I ain't got no comedy club. I ain't got no open mics. I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. All I know is that New York has comedy. So I'm like, all right, at one point I'll move to New York at some point. So I'm going through my life and I'm writing jokes. I start writing jokes in college. I just, just writing in So I'm writing co- jokes for like six, seven, eight years. So I mm. just had a page of just jokes. I just never told. And then I told Sci Fi, I said, you'd be good at stand up comedy. So you'd be good at it. You'd be great. You can tell stories well. You know, you have good comedic timing. You, you'd know. And then I told him, I said, when you're ready to do comedy, I'll do it with you. Because I didn't want to do it by myself. You know, I know I project the image like I can do it all by myself, but I should get very lonely. Mm-hmm. And, and I get very, like, I, I'm not introverted, but like, I just wish I had 
someone to talk to. Yeah. And so I was like, do it with me. And then I knew that I could keep going because it was like by myself. I was like, I don't think I can do this. And so that was six years ago. And so he, the idea just marinated. And then one day he calls me out of the blue and he's like, we're going to an open mic. I was like, they got open mics here? He's like, yep. Because Stand Up Life had just, oh, it's just, it just opened. It just opened like two like, or three years ago. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is 2024. I think it opened in 20. It was this was around like 2017. So okay. yeah, it was it had just opened. So we go so we go to the open mic, and then the second one we go to the first one we went to was at Salty Nut, which was Scott's old open mic. I don't know if you guys ever got to Salty Nut. Mm-hmm. I think it was closed by the time you guys yeah. got to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so um and so we go to Salty Nut and we see Brent Reed there and we see Alex D. Muscola there. Yeah, and I saw Shout Alex D. Muscola yeah. go up and I said, if I can be a fourth yeah. of funny as this guy. I'll be fine. Uh, there's a monster. Shout yeah. out Alex. Oh, Hell shout yeah. out Alex. He must go. Once Hell he yeah, gets man. settled with his kids, y'all gonna have him here. But oh, yeah. um, no, we, we, we confirmed a date. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Confirmed you confirmed a date. Yeah, yeah. excellent. That's February 25th, dude. Let's is do that it. What it is? Let's okay. do it. I'll, I'll yeah. try to come out that next week. Okay, I'll be tuning into that one for sure. So I saw Alex Muscola. Oh. March 25th. Yeah. March 25th. February 25th. What's this month we in right now? These motherfuckers don't know their calendar. We're in January. <laughs> oh, we're in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. They don't know what month it is. <laughs> what don't direct that. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, so then the second mic we did was at, at the time it was called Madison Station. Um, okay. But it's, but it's Boss Car now. But mm-hmm. it was Boss Car. And he's like, we're going up. I said, oh, we're not ready. He said, get ready. I said, all right. I pull out that document I've been writing on for you know five or six years with mm-hmm. all my jokes. And he's like, you got a document of jokes so he's doing his set list on a napkin and i'm i, I go up there and i'm like if these work great because uh-huh. my real plan was to start when i was 40 I okay was like, i'm gonna start i was like i felt like i've lived enough life at 40 i'm so glad i didn't start when i was 40 mm-hmm. but i was you know i that was just my plan and i got up there and i'm like all right let's do this one and the first one i told that babies and gatorade joke was one of the first jokes i ever wrote Oh, oh really? shit! Yeah, and so I, I, I kept that one. I've, I've kept tweaking it, obviously. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like I, I told that one, and people laughed, and I was like, okay, all right, this is cool. But I was like, nah, it's a fluke. It's just the people in this room. So I went over salty nut, told the same joke, people laughed again. So I just kept going to different places and telling the same joke, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay, this is funny. It's just Huntsville people. It's just Huntsville people. And this is the second piece of advice I will give to new comics: get out of town. Mm-hmm. Drive to Nashville. Drive to Birmingham. Drive to I man. We went to man, we went to Birmingham. We yeah. all bombed. It was great. It was yeah. great. Great learning was, experience. <laughs> you got to get out of town because you don't know if your joke works unless it works on someone who has no idea where you are, who mm-hmm. you are, and they're like, "Now be funny." Yeah. The pressure of being from out of town. So you know, drive to Birmingham. Me and Sci-Fi, we drove up and down this this great South, and we went to. We went to Cahaba down in Birmingham, and uh, we went to Laughing Skull. Do the Laughing Skull if you can uh, in, in, in Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, Have y'all okay. done Laughing Skull? No, nope, not Gotta yet. Gotta do Laughing we, Skull. We didn't travel, really. Gotta travel. That is that is the only way to really know. Mm-hmm. How good are my jokes? You know, when I did my jokes out in Vegas, I was very nervous. And I was like, I don't know if they're going to like this. Crushed. I went and did my jokes in Florida. Mm-hmm. They hated me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can see that. Bad, yeah. They hundred percent see that. Hated me, <laughs> booed me, bombed for a week. Damn. I oh. bombed for a week in Florida. DC loved me. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it's DC. Yeah. I'm very political. I'm a political comedian. Mm-hmm. Arizona it was just okay. <laughs> you know, it's just like they they didn't boo me, but you know they 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 messed with some of it. But Florida, oh dude, bombed oh, no, for Florida a week. Florida ain't going. And this Florida is what was going. really surprising. I bombed at the black mics and the white mics. <laughs> Damn, dude! <laughs> you, you, got the black, you got the black crowds like I'm good now. Dog, I, <laughs> I thought for sure I was like, come on, these are my people. Yeah. Nope. They said we not with you, nigga. <laughs> I was like, All right, damn. Florida's a different nation. Florida's dude. a different nation. <laughs> oh, dude. But anyway, so yeah, so he he hit me up and said, let's go, and and I went, and and we was off to the race, and we just haven't stopped. You know, we're mm-hmm. we just, we just. And so when it, when I saw you guys coming as a duo, I was like, oh, duos, yeah. So I don't know. The theories may be unfounded. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, we boys, you know what I'm saying? We start, we all, all three Hell of us yeah. started at the same, mm-hmm. literally, pretty much the same, same time. time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was Love. doing shenanigans when you were doing stand up. We were doing shenanigans when you were doing stand up live. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, we here, we here to say. Hell yeah. That pink cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. <laughs> it looks like something they sell as pleasures, dude. It does. Oh, my God. Can oh. I shout out Pleasures? Hell, oh, yeah. hell yeah. 
Can I shout out how amazing Pleasures is? Yes. Uh, Jamia and um, and Ashlyn are the managers of that Pleasures. Pleasures Lovely is a people. sex a sex shop, by the way. Yes, <laughs> and um, yeah, we did a don't tell there, and they were just so cool. You meet somebody just cool, mm-hmm. just like y'all cool, and their back room is empty. I said we're gonna put an open mic back here. We're gonna put a we're gonna put a show back here. I love it in the back of a sex yeah, shop. Awesome. In the back Great of a sex place. shop. Mm-hmm. I put the I put the dildos on my forehead. It was great. <laughs> it was great. It was heavy too. It was like <laughs> <laughs> got to put them somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I hung yeah. down. It was like touching my lips, and I was like, it's like a circle of dick. It just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see all those boxes of the uh, the ass and? You know, the little ass, I've ass seen fucking that. overstock. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. they have overstock of at, what are those things called? It's the like silicone. Yeah, flash, flash, flash. Flash. It's a it's a giant. It's 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 bigger than a flashlight. It's hard to describe. Yeah, it's a girl's ass. Yeah, it's a girl's but ass. It's made yeah. of silicone. Mm-hmm. It's like a mold, but it's not a mold. It's like a, it's like a sex doll, but it's only her torso, only torso. but only half her. Yeah, like that's, half the that's body. serial it's killer like, shit. Yeah, it, it, it <laughs> is. It's it like is. belly button to mid thigh. Yeah, yep. that's kind of the ratio. But it's it's also arched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. <laughs> it's ready to go. <laughs> Out of the box. Ready to get cracked. Dude, <laughs> the yeah. post nut clarity yeah. after you fucked that. It's got to be insane. You're going to hell. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Y'all ever seen those football things they used to have? Uh, man. What I, the hell is he about to say? We went in the Spencer's, my friend, and we saw a football pocket pussy. For the first time. What? Yeah. For the first and, time. And I was like, I was like, hold up, man. I want to try this shit out. And he was like, me too, man. So we went out and I was like, somebody gonna have to pay for this shit. So he went in there, he was buying it, talking to the dude. He's like, So you buy these? And the dude was like, Yep. And he was like, All right, thank you. And we went in there, tried it, now he threw it out. What? what? Y'all no, tried it. Hold up, wait, tried wait, wait, wait. This man turned to French. Let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it. it. He went home. And then we, we we tried it. I, of course, I tried. He was like, "Man, that shit sucked." Well, uh, time out. You can't say. Of Brandon, course, Brandon, I tried Brandon, it. Brandon, was there disinfectant yeah. involved? No, like, we bought separate ones. Oh, oh. separate ones. Okay, uh, thank God. Oh, not the same oh, shit. We thought Hell, no, he not took same. it home <laughs> and then mailed <laughs> yeah. it to you. No, no they separate. Okay, separate. Oh, separate. Oh, he, was God, that one out. he was like, "You threw yours out." I was like, "Yeah." Man, I thought y'all tag team the football. Wait, he said he said that he threw his out. And then you said yeah too, but you were lying. Yeah, I had it like I had it, I had it hidden for like five months. I was like, this shit gotta work. And now I'm like, you know, this shit. Sucks. You know, he was also work. lying, right? Yeah, he probably yeah, did, right. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. yeah I threw, he, by the way, he would. And y'all met him. Which what? You know who it is. Yeah. Think about it. Uh-huh. You know the one that sound black. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Hold on. Hold on. You you went out there when he had his friend on the, on his Facetime. Nah, nah, nah. I wasn't there for the friend. But but hold on. You said in the shape of a football. Yeah, I yeah. Don't get Okay, that. so it's a football where you put your dick hole. Wait, but what you do is you twist the top open, and it's like in disguise. So it's like you can play football uh, with it, or you just take it. So you can play with it, or you can play with well, it. Well, Brandon, we know you can't fucking catch. Yeah. I can't catch. <laughs> so, so we know it's not a football, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you take the top off of the yep. football and you put your dick inside like a clamshell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, Sometimes it's too much. <laughs> it's too up. You know, Brandon, it's entirely possible that you just bought a football. No, no there was like some girl. There was a girl on the front of it. Show us. Shit out of dirt ball. <laughs> okay, like, Brandon, hey, show us what you did. And like, just, <laughs> dude, so hold on. So what I did was when I bought it. Uh-huh. I did this, I twisted it, and when I twisted it, the squishy thing right there with that is there. And then, surprisingly, if you flipped it over, you can flip it, there's another end. Uh-huh. Never use that end. Oh. <laughs> just that end. You don't, you don't go in the back door? It? How huh? do you clean it out? Well, you take the whole thing out. You just, oh, you, you okay. can pull it all out and clean and put it back in. But, uh-huh. okay, okay, please tell me, please tell me. You're, so, your form with this, yeah. are you grabbing it by the spiral, by the laces? By the laces. By, yeah. Always yeah. by the laces. Yeah, you're double handing it. Oh, you Because you were younger. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was. I was like 14. So you're double handing the fucking football yeah. masturbation Whatever device. Whatever we could do because it was uncomfortable. That's why I threw it out. It was very yeah, you're fucking a football. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're fucking False the inside. Appetite. It sucked, man. That shit He's tossing right. around the pigs. I'm like, wait a minute, this shit ain't Literally. coming off. <laughs> yeah, I got stuck for a minute. That shit. Is what? Like- it got, what did, what got stuck? It got dude, stuck. I was using it. I couldn't take it off. I was like, hold up. So then I started freaking out. And then I had to like really, dude. <laughs> Chinese yeah, that friend. was the last time I ever used it. I was like, it that's got it. Stuck? I got to throw it out. Do you have a football on your dick right now? <laughs> yeah. no, I had to throw it out after that. Right there, I was like, that's it. Oh, that's when bro. you got you to gotta hang up the damn ball. That shit is uh, Retire the jersey, dude. <laughs> Still, yeah. That's Put it, it in the rafters. 
<laughs> that was the last shot. That was the retirement game. Mm-hmm. Oh my nah, god. Now pleasure didn't have nothing, <laughs> nothing like that. We ain't no fuckable football. Sprite, like but this 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 lady thing, like the back is art. Yep. And it, you know, dare I say, it kind of screams fuck me. Oh yeah, you know for sure. I mean? Like that's how they look. Yeah. You're like, I don't want to yeah. fuck this silicone thing. And so every time I'm in there, I'm like, how much is that again? Yeah. How much are they? Fifty nine ninety nine. See, see, I would do it, what, like, but I know for a fact after I get done, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? They're kind yeah, of expensive. You know I mean? That's what I'm saying. No, I would keep fucking it. Let, you let would? Me, let me be. Yeah, I bought it. Yeah, you got to spend that. You know it'd be you. good, dude. Bro, you fucked me when I bought it. I'm fucking you. <laughs> All right, listen. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep using it. But I, I feel like the yeah, cleaning don't waste your process money, man. would be a hassle. Yeah, because normally pocket pussy you can put in the, in the dishwasher. Now come on, people putting that in the dishwasher. Yeah, you can take the inside out. They make they make the ones that you can put in the, in, in the dishwasher. Yeah. Okay, now I'm scared, dude. Bro, people just putting that shit that in the happen. dishwasher. That's don't, semen. I didn't know that either. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Now that's oh, all. Well, over I guess the, you, run the, the, you run the shit through the, the water. I mean, yeah, you know, you clean I mean, it, it is away, hot. Man. It is hot. It's hot. Yeah. It can like kill bacteria. <laughs> Imagine you cleaning the the dishwasher filter and it's like still sticking. Oh hell. All right, this conversation is turning gross. Anyway, <laughs> so yes, pleasures. Yeah. Shout out to pleasures. Yeah, yeah, love, shout out. love those ladies Sh- over there. Shout out to uh, Thursdays uh, and Homegrown. Uh, you hosted oh, yeah. Matthew Tate's album recording. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Uh, my comedy mentor Matthew Tate uh, asked me to host his recording. We did a shenanigans. The recording came out amazing. You can check it out on Spotify. Uh, uh, we'll put the link up. Yeah, uh, if you got, I'm I'm on there the first thirty seconds. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the one screaming into the mic. You know, welcome to the stage, Matthew Tate. But um, but I was also the the host of that evening. Sci-Fi was also on that show, so we got the crowd nice, nice and excited to see oh, yeah. Mr. Tate. And Hell so yeah, it's one of the best nights for sure. I wish I, I wish I'd recorded it, but uh, but yeah, it was a crazy night. I have the audio though. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. What else is? What else is? What else is? What else is? What else is <laughs> everybody what else everybody is wants else? to know what's on the Yeah. Well, just, okay. I, I just. I just. I you, want. We gotta, we, gotta, the, we gotta save some for the next time. You called the Black Dog Grounds and Sounds your home club. Yo, y'all are detectives, bro. But it was permanently closed in mid 2023. Mm. Wow. I'm impressed. I am impressed. I'm like Sean on on uh, on Hot Ones. That's a good, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah, Black Dog was a uh, coffee shop mm-hmm. on the corner of Shelton and Old Madison Pike behind a gas station. It actually used to be a gas station. And it was an owner named Cliff and Leslie and Mr. Daniel Harden. Uh, oh, yeah. Who was Shout on out. The show. Shenanigans. Yeah. He runs the mm-hmm. Shenanigans. He mic. runs the Shenanigans. Mike Joker's mm-hmm. Wild. He's also on the apartment show with JJ. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Hell whatever yeah. day that is. I think it's the second. And it was a coffee shop where the owners. It was you know it was the first time that we really had someone outside of like a comedy club that wanted to hear comedy, mm-hmm. and we were so wanted. And the owner of the shop, Cliff, he would he built a stage for us. He you know moved in chairs. He got nice speakers. They were a sound shop, which means they sold like old record equipment. And mm-hmm. sounds and stuff like it's it's a thing, and so the grounds were the coffee, obviously, and uh, and they sold old records and old record like paraphernalia, and so he, but he had a comedy show there every Thursday, and it was a space where I felt the most creative. I felt like I had a creative streak going that year, and the jokes kept coming and they kept hitting. Some of the best jokes, you know, the, that new doctor joke was mm-hmm. written there perform okay. there first um that's the clip that'll go up in like you know two weeks i think when i start posting stand-up clips again you know black dog it felt like my home club it felt did i call that online mm-hmm. okay yeah yeah I, I it i still to this day refer to it as my home club as a place where not just that wants comedy but that the audience was there to see it and they just it was it was a very creative time for me, and I am desperately trying to get back to a black dog type of situation. It just those things are once in a lifetime. And uh, another favorite of the black dog place was my man Heath Cordez. Oh, uh, yeah. shout out! Shout out to Heath that? Cordez. And so he and I were there many many times, working out material and some of our best bits were written on that stage and they are closed and I was devastated. Mm. I was devastated. Damn, man. Yep. Yep. 
Hell yeah. All right. Well, Jonathan, first of all, I want to say thank you for coming on. Thank you, man. This, appreciate this you has guys. been a blast. I mean, I know oh, this episode is going to bang. <laughs> yeah, I hope I like said something uh, yeah. i know I, I know after every episode oh, this yeah. episode's gonna bang i just yeah, yeah. Like, i just boom. hope i did good yeah. Yeah. you did amazing okay. now now what we do now what you're gonna do you're gonna talk into that camera right there okay. anything you have to promote it will be written on the screen next to you and uh you got any shows coming up that come out and after a week just hit them up right there right in the camera. this camera right here yes sir all right um first and foremost uh, I would appreciate if anyone followed me on all social media. Um, Jonathan Silver Comedy on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, uh, Twitter, which sucks, and TikTok, um, which also sucks, uh, but not as much as Twitter. Um, I have two open mics. One is every Tuesday at Pleasures Romance Boutique. It's a sex shop on university. Um, hosted by myself and Nico Paris. Um, and so just come out. And we, we like that mic for people to try weird material. Just try weird stuff on that day. Um, and then I have the second open mic, which is uh, at Straight to Ale every other Thursday, the, the first and third Thursdays of the month. And in the speakeasy at Straight to Ale over on Governor's Drive. Um, that mic, uh, we like to try new material. So try new material there. That mic, uh, the sign-up list can get quite long. So either get there early or be prepared. But I do switch the list around. So just, you know, just come talk to me. Um, then I have apartment shows that are happening all over the city. Um, just hit me up if you want to be on one. Um, I usually look for a tight five. So if you've got a tight five, then we could talk. Um, and I also have Don't Tell Comedy. Uh, Don't Tell Comedy is a secret comedy show that happens in cities all over the U.S. Um, they're also uh, international. There's Don't Tell Comedy in London and in France now. So um, if you want to come out to secret shows, we have secret locations every single month. Uh, we got one coming up this Saturday. And, um, and I would love for you all to buy tickets to the Don't Tell Comedy. Um, if you like comedy videos, follow me. And let's see. I know I'm forgetting something. Um, for, let's let's leave it at that for now. Um, Hell yeah, let's leave it at that for now. So yes, so thank hey. you, thank you, boys. Hey, thanks thank again, you. man. Appreciate, Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. Okay, are we out?